then they tax you again with everything you buy. So that same money is getting taxed two and three times. But then it ain't enough. So at the end of the year, you got to pay more. I asked Tracy this morning, I'm like, what you think I should do about my tax situation? She was like, that's a good question, because now I owe. <laughs> yeah, we owe as well, bro. And they, and they, and they want us to, they trying to charge us to, to file it. We was filing, we was getting free charge every year. Now they want to charge a bunch of money. The only thing you can do now, man, is just make payment arrangements. Just to keep them off your ass. That's what I'm going to do, just make little payments every month. Keep them from coming to your house with that bullshit, because you know all they need is a reason. Yep, that's all they need. Eat with that bullshit. I think I'm gonna make it a little that lower. Baltimore bridge collapse was that this week? It was early this week. Yeah. That was a setup. Like, yeah. You see the, the explosions going up at the top and at the bottom. Right. It, it only hit one part. Or the turkey got some. The whole thing. Well. Yeah, I, I see you posted that too. A couple All of right. things, man. Dogs. Dude, that don't happen on ships. I was in the Navy. No. I was on two ships. Nothing goes completely dead on the ship. Everything is either bagged up by DC or diesel. You even had Coast Guard dudes make a video and tell my death that, that does not happen. Yeah. Really? You can see it speed up and turn directly it into it. It turned directly into it. They weren't trying to they weren't trying to miss it. They were trying to hit it. Yep. They do they they locking motherfuckers in. Yeah. Remember yeah. what they did in that Transformers movie? When they was in Chicago? They took the city, they lit up all the bridges. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. People couldn't even get out. Yeah, that, that's part of infrastructure, man. That's what they're doing now, and it's going to destroy the forest. It's uh, Yashirala, brother. But uh, Shalom. 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 Yeah, Yashirala, not Yisrael. <laughs> Yashirala means uh, he prince power. is the prince of the power, Khan, the water brother. Give me one second. Let me put some internet on my phone and go ahead. I got a hot spot off, yeah, I got a hot spot. Okay. You need a hot spot? Yeah, I got I got it. Okay. I'm off the way. That should be straight down. Let me make sure. I'm going to stop. If I remember, we used to pray over here to the east over here. If I remember. Show up. Give me one second, brothers. Uh, it says the east is this way. You this know, way? Purpose, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that, that bridge collapse, people, you know, some people believe it, but I think a lot of people, they see that it was clearly a setup. There's a lot of people all that's noticing. comments on TikTok, all the comments on YouTube, the video, they see it's a setup. People get caught up in labels anyway. You notice all the mainstream media outlets is calling this a collapse. That was a demolition. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Damn it. Once they offload from that port, from there those ships. <laughs> they brought in these, they brought in all these immigrants, gave them all that money. Immigrants go out, buy all that shit, they mm -hmm. destroy the ports. So these people can't bring none of them things back over here. And then now we have to hit them a famine and shit. Yeah, they can sense. boil down to that. That's, that's gonna come to pass, that famine. But uh, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we begin, want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, Bashem, Hakadosh. The monster, the apostles, the monster, the elders, the great millstone, Ruel, times is true. Much respect to you, brothers out there, preach His word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle, David, Ophel, Lake, and spread the word. I want to say shalom, shalom. All right, come out here weekend and week out, prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. And uh, as the brother was going into, man, you know brought out brought in all these immigrants and i also saw where uh brothers had posted up as well all those uh if i'm not mistaken venezuelan uh, mm -hmm. uh prisoners you know they let them loose and they sent them here you know so best believe that's your ass too that's your ass too up here jay all right because um they're they're well if they're not you know edomites they're, they're some jakes as well 
mixed in. But a lot of them is prisoners that's ready to get it on, right? Whether it's men or women, right? Because it is Babylon. You have these sleeper cells out here, as the brother was going into. Uh, uh, the Baltimore Bridge being collapsed, which it wasn't actually a uh, uh, collapse. That, that, that was some explosions that happened, man. You know, if you actually watch the video, I did a lesson on it. You actually watch the video, explosions happen on it. Just like 9 11, man. Yep. Right? Control demolition. Yep. So these are the times that we in, man. And while you have all these prophecies, all these things going on, you have everybody else being distracted by Easter instead of the Passover. And man. Diddy as well. And, yeah. and shitty. It's yeah. a Diddy vibe. Don't forget the trans, <laughs> transgender day of visibility. Oh, uh, that too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> And uh, what's what's that other dude's name? Dan Snyder. Yeah, yeah. Diddy. Yeah. Diddy. So Diddy is actually overshadowing him. You know, you notice when the Edomite <laughs> gets caught doing something, Jake Jake overshadows them, man. Yeah. You know, they put Jake more in the highlight than the Edomite that was actually doing all that wickedness. Perhaps even more wickedness than uh, Shitty was was doing, man. Yeah. All right. As the scriptures say, they're not in trouble as other men. You know, is this man going to be thrown into jail? You know, where's the cops raiding this man's uh, 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 life of living, man? They happening. Same yeah. scenario with uh, R. Kelly and Hugh Hefner. Oh yeah. Did nobody yeah. Stone, did nobody raid the the, the playhouse the, the uh, Playboy, Playboy Mansion? Mansion? Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, they knew it was an old ass crusty motherfucker in there with a bunch of young girls, but they did They celebrated him. Yeah. <laughs> See the hypocrisy of Babylon. That's why this bitch got to go. Even with um, what's that? Uh, Prince William's cat. He goes over there. He goes to the little parties as well. I was watching the news about it last night. He goes over there to them parties as well, with the uh, little Diddy's little parties and shit. Mm. He was in there taking pictures with them all. That makes sense. They called everybody out, but they tried to make him seem like because he, he was, was there, separate. don't mean he was he was to, doing what they was doing. They tried to separate. Uh, did all this I'm stuff like, man, too. you was there, bro. You was on it too. Man, if you were a so-called prince in a wicked kingdom, hell yeah, you at the height of your wickedness. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, we can't put nothing past you because you feeling yourself in your own kingdom. Exactly. And also uh, LeBron James. I don't know if y'all saw that as well. It they got pictures. Up? Yeah, they got pictures and uh, videos of him partying with Diddy. See, ain't no party like you a know? Diddy party. That's yeah, what he what called it. That's what it came out of his mouth. Then he <laughs> got in LeBron. He said, you the king, show me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hypocrisy of this nation, man. These people, they always trying to put us as being the face of crime and pedophilia, but they hide their own wickedness. Yeah. It's like right now, they coming out with a law that says if they can profile you as being an online extremist, that gives them grounds to come take your guns. While at the same time, they giving migrants, quote unquote, money to buy guns and they don't have to have any documentation and they are protected under the Second Amendment. Uh, Second Amendment. So you already see the plate. They trying to disarm you, but arm their people because it was a, uh, a TikTok video came out of an Uber driver. And he picked up one of these migrants and he said that he was a soldier of the UN, the United mm. Nations. They are here. We've been telling y'all this, man. It's so easy to see. The devil ain't finna get nobody all these perks for nothing. That's true, that reminds me, I even remember, uh, it's like even a couple years ago before all this stuff even happened, man. They had UN armored trucks down here stationed. Uh, I forget which uh, area, but it was some state, man. They, they was all, you know, pretty much covered up. But if you lift up like the uh, cover, and, and the truck would say, uh, you win. Yeah, I remember that video. I still got it. It ain't no coincidence all these people come across the border that's military age men. That that don't that don't sit right with us. That that sit right with y'all. But see, you eat them out, y'all both y'all self on how powerful you are. But you letting your own government do this right in your face. Where your power at? Why you ain't running kicking in the White House door like that stage they've been on January 6th. 
the Esau go above and beyond to make you believe his lies. He wants to maintain that image like he's the powerful all knowing. You dumb as hell, you destroying your own kingdom out of your hatred for us. Dumbass. <laughs> uh -oh. And the Lord gonna let you do it. Yeah, I got a scripture for this man, his kingdom, man, unless y'all got one. Go ahead, bro. It's uh, Nehu 3, verse 4. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, which is America, the mistress of witchcraft that sell up nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft, Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the na nations thy nakedness mm. and the kingdom of thy shame. And that's what's happening, man, right now, man. Everything is being exposed, man. The, the Diddy Bop, you know, uh, everybody going to these parties that he be having, you know, the bridge collapsed, these migrants coming over here, they getting all these different benefits and perks. Meanwhile, while people over here, you ain't getting nothing. Life is only getting harder for you. They it take it, man, like rights, you don't know they give it to the migrants. Russia yeah. starting to Russia over there in the Red Sea. Yep. Russia played the big joke on the United States. Ooh. I know the government mad at Ooh. Putin, boy. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to Trump that big joker, baby. I'm like, God damn it, we've been trying to hide this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's already been out. The yeah. apostles been preaching this, man. But see, you know how people, it take Esau to see it. Yeah. For them to believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody famous to see it. Mm. Yeah. Cause uh, that that's what happened to one of my family members, you know, and they had to realize why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know. Partly, it's cause of that. Cause Esau Edom, for years, has been hiding who are the true biblical Israelites. They had these back, you know, in vaults. Matter of fact, it's all over there. It's all over Europe. All right. There's so many pictures and arts that yep. they can't hide it. They try to, but they can't hide it. So it took for this event for a lot of our people to realize, okay, that's why the brothers out there preaching this word. That's why the brothers ain't with Babylon the Great. You know, so, you know, the Lord will use that event, you know, uh, you know, don't be surprised if some Jakes, you know, wake up because of that. But it's, it's still, you know, a sad thing. It's like, man, it took for that. It took for the white man to show you when Jake, when we been out here, the apostles and elders and brothers on down, been out here telling you that you were Israelite? <laughs> Come on, man. It happened before with Kanye and Kyrie. Yep. A few woke up after that, and a few more waking up. See, all we got to do is teach. Yeah. And the Lord is going to do the rest. He going to make what we saying become true in your eyes. And maybe think of that one scripture where it says, thy people should be willing in the day of thy power. In the day of thy power, That's yep. going to be even more, Jason, to wake up when they see you know, the elect men get that spiritual power, or they gonna, they gonna believe then. Some of them, you know, you still gonna have the two thirds, but there's gonna be even more chance to believe when, during that time when stuff is popping off and they see the elect is being taken care of, they got that power. Oh, uh, they definitely gonna believe. I got Romans 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are yeah. not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. So that's, that's, what's, that's what's happening right now. The people are waking up to the fact, some anyway are waking up to the fact that they are Israelites and it's being pushed out into the world that the blacks, Latinos, Native Americans are the children of God, man. You know, so it's not hitting anymore. You either going to get it or you're going to continue to be ignorantly ignorant, willingly ignorant and stay in the dark, man. Yep. The average Jake right. know about this. The average Jake know. They don't want to wake up. Yeah, they don't, don't, don't want to wake up. No. Oh. Cause I have a family member the other day. They took their fifth, fifth oh, juice, fifth juice oh, uh, uh, booster. Yeah. Say it like that. Yeah, that's still going around, dog. Uh, he was another NBA player passed out on the court. I heard about that. He didn't. Right, he didn't right. stay down. He just passed out, bro. Then he uh, he ended up getting up. He just rubbed yeah. his head. I yeah. forget his name. Had like one oh, of the hand height names. Yeah, Bishback, Biarbo, something like yeah. that. Yeah. the Thunder. You got Ham taking the, the Kool Aid. And, and even with that, wake up, man. yeah, even with that, the Jews and us telling you that you're the biblical true Israelites, you still got to learn the hard way. Some of my people still got to learn the hard way, man. Jake too busy trying to be accepted by these heathens. These heathens don't give a fuck about you. They hate you. You know, I got a, a, a description of Isaiah 1 to 3. It says the ox know if it's older than the ass's master's crib, but Israel do if not know, my people do if not consider. 
when you tell the average Jake that there is a light, that they, the Lord shows people, they don't care. They The first thing they say is, what about the white man? Where the body slave ass. Yeah. <laughs> first thing they say out there, bro. You need to be worried about your salvation. Esau's judgment is already written. Mm. Nobody gonna get him out of his judgment. You need to be worried about your own black ass. God, I got a scripture for that. It's like the brothers say, they always do. What about the white man? I remember I had, when I first came into the truth, and, you know, I gained a substantial amount of knowledge, you know. That's when I felt ready. You know, I was I was ready, man. I'm, I'm going to have a conversation with my father because, as some of y'all know, my father's a pastor. So I'm like, man, y'all never brought out these scriptures. Y'all never said this. And, you know, I told him, I'm like, hey, we the biblical Israelites, man. But what about the white man? What's going to happen to the white man? <laughs> I'm like, bro, this is one of the scriptures right here. Because if you pastors actually know the Bible, what some of them will do, but they, you know, they don't know it to the degree as us. They're not given the wisdom, not to understand it to the degree of us. And, and a lot of them, like Geno Jennings, they've been watching our videos and actually teaching like us too. Mm -hmm. You All can right? tell who's been watching yeah, our videos. Yeah. I, I saw a clip the other day. I'm like, this nigga been, this nigga been peeping our videos, man. But anyways, they're not bringing out the truth of the Bible, even if they hear these scriptures. So it's, this is one of them. Revelation 18 and verse 6, where her, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. You see that? So... If you actually read the scriptures, when you actually understand the scriptures, the Lord says that a false balance is an abomination unto him. Just roughly paraphrasing Proverbs 11 and 1 and other various chapters. The Lord ain't with that, man. So these people, they cause hell unto you. They got to they gotta get that hell. They got to drink that cup. And the Lord said double. So that's a thousand years of slavery. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen to that white boy, man. Yep, that's yep. what's gonna happen. And you fake ass preachers too. Mm -hmm. A lot of you lying ass preachers know enough to lie. Remember, remember this in everything, all walks of life. In order to lie, you gotta know the truth. Yeah. Because you have to know what not to say. So yeah, they know enough to lie. They know enough to pretend. Now they running out of gimmicks. This truth then came out. Now that all they doing is doing gimmicks up in these churches, trying to present themselves as being life coaches. Not one scripture being read. Matter of fact, it's like you, brother. Yeah, that one pastor getting a haircut. That's how you know this, this, this shit's a joke. You getting a haircut while you preaching the word. Make it make sense, man. Gimmicks, like that dude that poured the syrup on the Bible. Or that Edomite uh, female pastor that was kicking the, the Bible during Super Bowl. Through. Y'all getting too comfortable with disrespecting this word. You think the Lord ain't, ain't paying attention? He ain't called the Redeemer for nothing. Redeem mean revenge. Yep. In case you don't know your definitions, y'all playing with something that y'all don't understand at all. But that's all right, though. That's fact going to give you understanding, baby. Because, <laughs> <laughs> matter of fact, you had this one pastor. He spit on his own brother, trying to act like he was Yahushai. See? All right. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's nasty. I mean, like, he, 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 he hawked really it. it up, man. <laughs> All these, I ain't nothing in church but gimmicks, not the truth. The Lord is damn sure ain't in these churches. Y'all going for side shows and gimmicks, entertainment and lies. And when y'all come up out of there, you're more fake than you was when you first went in there. You're broke. And you must it from all that gyrating and dancing. Now, how do you feel for feel? Y'all fake as hell, man. The Lord don't like fake people. Nope. And y'all done mastered this from Esau. Because he's the fakest of the fake. This man trying to be a moral judge. He's the only one. Name one country that came over and bombed the United States. Not one. But he's out calling all these other countries that don't go along with his will, extremists and terrorists. Yeah. He has the history of being an extremist and terrorist. He bombs other countries. He bombs citizens in his own country. Tulsa, Oklahoma, Philadelphia, Chicago, the Black Panthers. Not, and that's just a small yeah. list. Yeah. This man has always been a terrorist. 
So you have no ground to be a moral judge on who's extreme. You have always been an extremist, mm -hmm. starting with the KKK. That still lie today. And still hasn't been punished yep. to this day. You think the Lord gonna let all that, that innocent blood just slide? Mm -hmm. I got Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the light, when the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hands. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man in his heritage. And like the brother said, that's what they do. They go around, they bomb other lands, they steal, they they they, they steal their land. Resources. They, they resources, everything, man. You know, how can you not see who the devil is the scriptures are, are talking about, man? Prime example, Nigeria. Nigeria was the third in the world as far as producing oil. You know who owns their oil now? BP, Exxon, and they are charging these people double for their own oil. Their own now how, state, how is man. that righteous? Hey, what was it last year? It was either last year or two years ago as well, when they uh, found out that they had all that gold over there in, in Africa as well. Was it, it, it was in Ghana? I what think was it? it was in Ghana. Ghana or Congo or something like that? It started with the country name, started with a G. But they found 13 trillion tons. Mm -hmm. hey. And the United States was mad because China was already oh, there. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he, he, hey, best believe, he was already trying to rush his ass over there, man. trying to get it. China would beat him to it. They ain't messing yeah. with China, man. <laughs> 144, call Lord Yabashmiel. You know how many people trying to get at that gold? He's all mad, man. It's all good because if they hand mics, if they hand mics and more bites over there, it's, it's already coming back to us anyway. We ain't over here stressing. <laughs> they just holding it for us. Keep it yeah. warm for us. Keep it warm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why the Lord, man, he's meditating terror, man. The, the dead visions is in his heart, man. It says in the book of Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, I'm beginning, it's the fourth verse that says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year my redeemed is come. That's what the Lord's thinking about right there in the heavens, man, on the right side of the, of the Most High. Thinking about terror, thinking about, you know, destroying this place and coming back. You know, the prophecy's got to be fulfilled first because the Lord is bound to his word. Yeah, just like in that verse he just read. The time of his redeemed has come. Redeemed means revenge. I also got a scripture unless y'all got one. I'm going to get um, Job 14 and verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one, because over here in Babylon the Great, they say that you can eat all these abominable foods. You can participate in all these abominable acts. And you all good. You get celebrated for it, man. But the Lord says that's not clean. All right, that act that you're participating in, you're supposed to be put to death for. It. And here's the point. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. That was appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So it's a set time, date, and frame that this man is going to be taken out, man. Call y'all by Shemiel Shah. We ready. That's why we out here, man. Because instead of. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Don't hit that car, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's why we out here on the highways and byways, man. You know, <laughs> preaching this word. Because instead of. People out here celebrating the Passover, they celebrating Easter out here. Celebrating uh, Ishtar, celebrating freaking eggs that, that in the past uh, uh, were dyed with blood, man. Yep. Celebrating mm -hmm. child sacrifices. Parties don't even lay damn eggs, man. <laughs> make it make <laughs> you sense, You try to man. tell a Christian that he'll cut you out. Yep. Like why, you, why out of all the year, you come to church with a pink shirt and a tie, man, look, looking like a dumbass, man, you know? Talking about some damn money that. Oh, we were talking about that before you pulled up. Check this out now. I know everybody heard that. Everybody got that family member where they say they only go to church twice a year, one for Easter and one for New Year. Yeah. Now, you a regular sinner throughout the day. Throughout the, every other day, you a sinner, right? But you go out your way to worship false gods like Ishtar and Janice. 
You go out your way to worship those God, those false idols. So what are you really? You are a wicked ass person because yeah. the other 363 days of the year, you in sin and wickedness. And then you take two days off to go worship Janice and Ishtar. And we've been told y'all the Lord is not in these churches because there's too much sin and wickedness up in there for the Lord. The Lord, the Holy Spirit will not dwell in a malicious spirit. So no, that, that's, that ain't what's going on in there. But I will tell you what's going on in there. The celebration of homosexuality, the, homo, the celebration of pedophilia, the celebration of lies, the worshiping of false gods, and they putting you in false hope only for you to be destroyed. And then they breaking you at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's what y'all can't get enough of. So that tells you how sick you people are. But if we, if it come from us, oh, we extreme, we hateful. You can call it whatever you want to, but you'll never call us liars. Oh, he oh, don't even he's know. He's get the <laughs> fuck up he out of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no mercy for you, my boy. <laughs> it'll, we, we'll, it'll be peace. You throw the peace sign. It'll be peace when they in chain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this nigga. <laughs> he almost fell. He almost fell at everything. No, I think that's a mole bite, isn't it? He's a big mole bite. He's about 6'2". Six, six, <laughs> they usually be short. Is he going out to uh, celebrate with the uh, yeah. other heathens? Yeah, yeah, he's running. He can't get that fast enough. He said, hey, guys. What was it? Last year, you had them two more bites that, that were almost. Yeah, they were flamed up yeah, here in the same up. field. <laughs> he can't get that fast enough. Running, about to fall. Happy resurrection day. Water. Look at us. What, bro? One day out of the year, they go out their way to go worship Ishtar. Because they the, think that's paying homage to your how about shoot me how shot. Cause I know y'all can't see it. You know, these people are packing up, man. They got the cars all on the road. They run into church over here. <laughs> man in the world for Ishtar. <laughs> Buddy probably running cause he got front row tickets. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Baptized. Ain't nothing but a show, man. A bunch of gimmicks, song and dance. And ba live. <laughs> Baptize me in the blood. <laughs> they, they think it's the Apollo Theater there. You know what I'm saying? I got front row tickets, baby. Ooh. For the Easter show. <laughs> Got to get up, but we up in here. This man Esau throwing up peace signs. These people think the Lord's coming back to save them and give them rainbows and kisses. And mm -hmm. no, the Lord ain't coming back to do that, man. The scripture says, "War to you, desire to date the Lord for what it is it for you." Mm -hmm. These people, they, these people don't know what the Lord's coming back to do. They, they don't, don't see that day. They just in denial about it. Because everybody you tell what the Lord about to do, especially Eve, she gonna reply, "Not my Jesus." Okay, you right. It ain't your Jesus. That's coming back to destroy this place. Mm -hmm. It's your Howard Shot. Look at this nigga right here with a mask on in, his, in the car by, <laughs> by yourself, boy. I mean, people. Esau just snatched away the ability to think on your own. <laughs> they they had that mask on just long enough to pretty much kill off them last uh, uh, <laughs> cognitive thinking brain cells. <laughs> These people got that herd mentality. Oh, uh, man. I'm going to get a couple scriptures on the comic board. Give me this is um, Hope, Grace, and Mercy 144. He got uh, Job 4 and verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. As we was going into, Jake chooses like two years, I mean, slacky, two days out of the year to go celebrate and worship a false deity, man. You know, and, and and all throughout the year, you're a damn demon, man. You're doing all types of wickedness, man. And here it is, you have the prophets out here week in and week out prophesying, and you don't take heed to that. You're like, ah, oh, they, they look like some fools. No, you the fool, man. And so you're gonna be out here looking stupid. Your stomach's gonna be touching your back. <laughs> <laughs> like the man bites, they be showing over there in the yeah. way of the hair. In the yard. 30 cents a day. Oh, you can feed angel. one of these little ones. Just a bag of rice will help. <laughs> our people, just, our people just don't, they just not of God, man, you know? This is uh, First John 4 and 5. God. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world. And, and the world heareth them. We are of God, 
He that know of God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. I mean, hear not us. Here, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error, man. Mm. So our, our people, that's how we know who is in this, who want to hear this truth and hear who doesn't. You know, a lot of people, some people got the spirit of truth from them. They come right up here and they want to hear what we got to say. Yeah. But the vast majority of our people, they got the spirit of error, bro. They don't want to hear what we got to say. They don't want to hear Yahweh Yahweh's words, man. You know, so they decline it and they go right in these whorehouses. Yeah. Chase Ishtar and 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 dip eggs in blood. Got the blind leading the blind right up in that deal. Some of the stupidest people this planet has ever seen because they don't question nothing. No, they no. take every lie at face value with open arms, bro. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever question a, a bunny laying eggs. They just take it at face value. Yep. Well, the preacher said it. It must be true. No, the preacher lies. That's all he's one know. of the most prolific liars in society right now, besides the politician, mm -hmm. because they work hand in hand. Because uh, somebody brought this point out. I think it was Charleston White. I don't agree with this man a lot, but he actually said something that made sense. What's the saying? The uh, clock is right at least twice a, a, a broken clock. Yeah. It's at least right twice a day. And he was right on this one. He said that because uh, he was talking about Al Sharpton. I don't know how true this is about Al Sharpton, but he said that Al Sharpton worked for the FBI. Yeah. And he said a lot of preachers are in that same boat because look at all the freedom these pastors get. They work for the feds, bro. They the only ones that get allowed in the prisons to talk to prisoners. No, they trying to get confessions, bro. Interrogating prisons, prisoners under the guise of spiritual guidance. Now they get confessions out of these people and go report it. Yeah, these, these preachers, yeah, like I said, man, they're going to be stringing y'all up along with these politicians. They are already on Brandon Johnson's ass in Chicago. Ooh they want his ass. But look at all the shit he's allowing to happen to the citizens. Same thing with Eric Adams in New York. They own his ass, too. Now, yeah. he's trying to make it he trying to make it even by deporting those migrants, quote, unquote, that commit crimes. They shouldn't have been here in the first place. But see, you all bought and paid for you mayors, especially you black mayors. Your hands are tied. You can't do shit. Yeah. So why are you making all these false promises to the citizens, knowing that you can't do shit? You have no power to do a goddamn thing. No. Man. You just a puppet on the string. Yeah. The only power you got is to say yes, sir. That's it. That's it. Like a lap dog. Yeah, you got to be a are. yes man. Yeah. Because that's what happens. Some some of them may come in with a good intent and a good heart mm -hmm. but then once they get elected once they get into the scene then they realize you know okay you got to take these orders you yeah. can't do all this you can't do all this for jake all no. right if you and if you try to veer off do your own thing we got your ass we're gonna send yeah. a fish you'll have yeah. an example at you yep saw they said too. the same thing about brandon johnson they were like before he was elected he's a totally different person he was like, he had so much support from his friends and family. But when he got in office, he did a total 180 on your ass. Yeah. He saw Ben DeMobo. Yeah. Now you don't know him no more. You don't recognize him. That's how you know he's been touched. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you say that, hey, the scriptures are plain. This is not your rest, man. No matter what, what level you are in this society, this is not your rest, man. You still got to take orders from Esau Edom. Esau Edom is still above you, man. And that's why we out here week in and week out, man, because we trying to be free, man. We trying to see the Lord exact judgment on this wicked ass man. You had, uh, what's, uh, one body, and all right, Satan. Yeah, and, and Satan. He said he wanted to be a politician. That's how you know this man is corrupt, man. He's already one. Yeah. <laughs> Through. Because he the one he went back to the Christian doctrine. Yeah, you know, he, he bought and paid for. Yeah. You can't trust these men that, that put more Christ. These men are juiced in. They are leading you to your death. He pushing that the Lord didn't do miracles. He said the chariots don't exist. He wasn't saying that when I first came to yeah, the truth. But I remember that. He that saw he got God to his ass. He got yeah. before and after. Yeah, he, he wasn't saying that <laughs> first, but he saw God. 
before he got bent over, after he got bent over. Two totally different men. Man, you you got right Filipinos. Well, let him do it. Damn, that shit get masked up right there on the corner, his own fault. They can't even park right now. That's because his eyes are squinty. You can't see. Because <laughs> yesterday, man, I, I kid you not, yesterday, I almost got hit by two uh, uh, Moabites, Moabites or Ammonites, man. And uh, they were women, too. I'm like, how the f you almost hit me? <laughs> Rude. Children, man, these are children. Ooh. Only a child would part like that. Because look You hit all this space right here, all this space. Yeah. Over and now. Yeah, right here. I guess because we're preaching right here. They won't. They're scared of us. Yeah. Yeah, they don't get too close. We're not the ones you should fear. <laughs> hey, what's we don't that? have the power to judge you. <laughs> Wicked spirits hate righteous spirits, man. So that's why they scared to get over here, man. Yeah, I rock the Zion. We those men. You'd rather take a chance in a toe zone. <laughs> yeah. Than the park right here. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I right, fuck that. I just go get it if they do it. I'm not messing with the problems. <laughs> I ain't trying to get my ass torn up, man. <laughs> it's, gone. it's already there anyway. Yeah. Lord got your number, man. You can't fight against this truth. Mm -hmm. You can only duck and dodge for so long. Yep. You got Jake going in there too? Yeah, you got all oh, the flavors. Oh, man. The that's melting a, pot, man. A, yeah, I was about to say that. The melting pot. Remember, Catholic means universal. Yep. yep. So everybody's welcome. Sodom. Come on in. <laughs> Take your shoes off. Make yourself at you home. You through? <laughs> Salvation at Universal. Also with the Jacob. Look at them. I believe they going here too. Everybody welcome. Let me get a scripture on that. I got one on Esau too. The Levitation Sport. Uh, Why y'all get that? I'm going to get the uh, scripture on the comment board real quick. This is uh, Strive for the Masteries, which I love, I love that title, man, The Water Brother, all right? Because when you come into this truth, you become a new creature, man. You're not a child anymore. You're not tossed to and fro with uh, all these wayward doctrines, man. You strive for the masteries in this truth. You know, that's why, you know, if, if, if you're truly growing in this thing, you won't get kicked out, man. Because... I notice a lot of dudes that get kicked out, they stop growing. Or they don't see the means of doing their lessons, preaching this word. They don't see the means of growing in this walk. And so the Lord kicks you out, you know? You being stagnant water. And that's nasty waters. And uh, he got uh, Mark 7 and verse 7. How be it in vain they do worship me. All right, because we just saw Three Jakes go up into this church over here, all right? As the brother brought out, Catholic means universal, all right? It's a bunch of madness, man, that's in these churches. Teaching for doctrines and commandments of men, laying aside the commandment of Yahweh, ye do hold the tradition of men as the washing of the pots and cups and many of other such like things do ye, ye do, all right? So up in these churches over here, they're teaching doctrines of men and not the true doctrines of this Bible, all right? And once again, if they uh, teach you the true doctrine of this Bible, you will grow, you become a new creature, and you strive for the masteries. Eventually, you know, you might be, uh, um, you know, if the years have it, which we praying, we praying for this kingdom to be done and through, but let's just say, you know, for the sake of the argument, you know, the years go by, Eventually, you become an elder in this thing. That's how that's how it's supposed to be, all right? In order, and you have men under you, and they learn and they grow and they teach other men, and and that's how it's supposed to be in the Christian church. All they do is just listen to the pastor. Whatever pastor says, pastor goes, man. You know it goes. Yep. He's the bastard of the house. I got a script show Esau because I see them frolicking in the wind with their little yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, dicks around their neck. They all happy and stuff. This Lamentation 4 and 21, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that the wellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through That's unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. That's what's going to happen to y'all, man. That cup is talking about slavery, man. It's coming, man next to y'all so y'all can be happy all y'all work right now but y'all kingdom is coming to an end as each day go by prophecies being fulfilled you just had putin come out and say that 
you know, that the, the Lord was a black, black yeah. man, you know? Yeah, because also going into that scriptures, uh, being naked, you're being exposed as, as the wicked of the Bible, all right? You're being exposed that you have covered up that we're the children of Israel. You're being exposed that you, 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 all throughout history, you have done all this wickedness, committed all these wicked acts, and you got to pay for it. You're the bed of sin, man. Yeah. You know, you eat them rights. Y'all are the ones that, you know, create, you know, wickedness and do wickedness upon the earth and put it upon, you know, us. You put patents on death. Yep. The scriptures say the way of the wicked, uh, I think it says seducing him. You know, talking about Jake, mm -hmm. you know? And Jake is heavily influenced by Esau. Because two thirds of our people, they threw the brand. You can't, they, you can't revive them. There's no revive me, ain't none of that. Yes, they gonna die like that. We was talking about that uh, that video you, you showed us with that uh, girl rapping, where she was talking about, you know, that plan B don't work, you know, whatever else she said. Talk about how she wanna go down on a man and he can bust in her mouth and on her chest. And she was just going in, man. Blind hair, nasty <laughs> ass baby hair under there. How they do those, that's how I know they bug the hell out, blind hair. And that goddamn baby hair up under there with the part in between that look like a little extra set of eyebrows. Any type of hair color, self yeah. natural color, yeah. she bugged yeah. out. Yeah. Stay away. <laughs> Run away. Y'all notice he the only one rapping this garbage. No other female of any other nation doing this. So he that shows that should be an indicator of how stupid you are. Like I was telling the brothers before camp. Back then women didn't need, if a woman was a freak. She ain't, she ain't speak on none of that. Cause it was shameful. You know, she kept that on the low. You will only find out if you got it close to her. Yep. But other than that, now psh, they ain't, they, they shameless as hell, man. Yeah, yeah what did the scripture say? A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. dog. Yep. What is a female dog? So don't be surprised <laughs> if you don't get no love or no help from the, from nobody in the last days. The uh, female sexy red, she got a song called "I Don't Want to Be Saved." And she just yeah, goes on and on. You gotta worry about that. Like that. Like that. Yeah. The Lord said, "Bitch, yeah. bitch, you won't be on one of them chariots." And you got Drake all over her, man. And yeah, I Drake. wish I ain't surprised because they all lumped up in, in weakness anyway. Jake just got skeeted on. Man. Anybody can see Drake is soft. Yeah. He is not from the streets. This dude is from Toronto, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no gangsters in Toronto. Because <laughs> you really can't have a gun in Toronto, man. Right. You know? So how y'all whore? <laughs> is he whore? <laughs> oh, God, who said that? They just a good actors, man. Studio gangster. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people see right through that bullshit. The world because they, they just all for it. They run with Drake. Meek Mill and Jay-Z, yeah, they run with the I was about to say, y'all, Meek Mills was a studio gangster. Yeah. Now he's a flaming sodomite. It don't matter if you just did it once. You still a sodomite. That's time all it take, baby. Yep. That's all it is. The Lord said just one act. You're supposed to be put to death for that. Mm-hmm. To keep it spreading to the children of Israel. Mm-hmm. See, they, they still flocking up in there. Yeah. They late. <laughs> he took off his glasses. He's yeah. going to start still running. Still got front off. row tickets, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got a scripture I found. It's talking about these pastors of Babylon and the miracle. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26 through 28. Her priests have violated my law. Mm. These the, the pastors of Babylon, the miracle, and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane, neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profaned among them. That's why when you bring up your how about Shimmy Howard Shy, they react like vampires in sunlight. Ah! They don't want to hear the truth. They like that that uh that lying ass doctrine, prophesied deceits. Yep, like Isaiah 23. Smooth, buttery words. They don't want to hear the truth. That's why you got everything and anything going up in these churches because they put no difference between the clean and unclean. Yeah. Everybody welcome up in there because ain't never demons in there anyway. Faking the funk, pretending that like they holy, mm -hmm. knowing that they just got Saturday night you in church Sunday morning, knowing you just got up out of a married man's bed, mm. but all of a sudden Sunday morning you. You just as pure as you want to be. That shit don't work. 
<laughs> in, in, in some instances, because I've seen it before, in some instances, Will, you wearing the same outfit that you wore at the club. Exactly. Down, <laughs> the same catch church. me, fuck me yeah. dress. You wore to the club, you wearing the church with nut stains on it. But you pure. Looking like that bird before that window. From, a, from another woman's husband. But you pure. The Lord going to save you. Is this okay? True? Not only are you proud, but you stupid. Like Stacey Red said, I don't want to be saved. That's Eve. Bet. Hey. Lord gonna give you what you wish for, what you ask for. Hey, J. Cole had the song too, Don't Save Her. Yep. She don't want to be saved. Can't yeah. save these people. The elder uh, productions like Bach in South Carolina, he did a video on this Eve said, uh, let me go to hell or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah, yeah. she said, don't try to, to save you. her. Bet, you won't be. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. burn like the rest. These people actually think that them going against the Lord hurts the Lord's feelings. <laughs> if you going against the Lord, he created you to be that way so he could be justified to destroy you. Yep. You ain't hurting his feelings. You messing up your own future. Uh, he, he, that Jake that was in that uh, Ford right there, he is going to church. I knew he, he was. Go, he got I, a bald head. I know. Michael Church. I, I, I felt like he, he, I felt like he was feeling ashamed though. Going up in there. I, I did. I felt like he go was ahead. feeling ashamed. Like, ah oh, man, they calling me out. I, I ain't know. supposed to be going. No, but I would go in. Anyway. That to you. <laughs> Looking like a damn headbite. Oh, even that couple over there, man. They going too. Let them go, man. Yeah, let let them, let save them, them walk hey. themselves for destruction. Like me and Juan were talking about on the way here. Somebody got to fill that two third lot. Yeah. yeah. Somebody got to be those billions that die. The Don't stop say, them. The scripture says, if anybody be ignorant, let it be ignorant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Don't stop them. Scripts always it also says pray not for these people. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing. Yeah, I remember when I brought that out. Yeah, this Christian all but heard about their stuff. I'm like, don't take it up with me. Take it up with your power, man. The scriptures say what the scriptures say, and they mean it, man. The scriptures say not to pray for these people. Alright? The scriptures say that the Lord is a man of war and that two-thirds are going to die. All right, they're gonna die a horrible death. They're gonna seek death and shall not find it, man. That's yeah. how bad these people are gonna die, man. The Lord, it's impossible pain. for the Lord to lie. He can't. He's that He's that just and powerful. He, he can't lie. He can make you people lie. He can put his spirit upon you to do that, but he, he can't lie. That's how cold blooded the Lord is, bro. Mm -hmm. The Lord, he said he gonna do something, he gonna do it. And if our people, I mean, if y'all wanted, if people did, if we did go out here and try to pray for these people, the Most High ain't hearing us anyway, no, man. He does. And this is Jeremiah 6 and, I mean, 7 and 16. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor make prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Ooh. And as simple as that, man. We are told not to pray for these wicked Israelites, man. I got a precept on that, bro. This is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 9. Then shall they be a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, verse 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised them. Verse 12, the same must know it after death by pain. Yep. So you can only run, you only run, you, you think you're running from the truth, but you're running straight to your death. Y'all ain't hurting the feelings, Lord. Y'all ain't hurting the Lord's feelings, man. <laughs> He made you to do that. <laughs> y'all think y'all think the Lord that white boy? He's soft like that. No, no, no. Y'all better stop believing Esau. Cause when the Lord pull up, y'all gonna know that y'all been lied to. Then it's gonna be too late for anything. Huh? Just take your death by pain. Shoot, sure, I got another scripture. I got First uh, Corinthians fourteen. I'm gonna start at verse set, uh, thirty-seven. If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge the things that are right unto you are the commandments of the Lord. 
And a lot of times, when Jake hears the words out of this Bible, all right, they don't want to take heed unto it. They don't want to listen to it. Oh, that's your interpretation. Oh, I, I ain't got to listen to that. Oh, oh, pastor didn't say that. Well, your pastor don't know the Bible. Your pastor don't preach the Bible. The pastor's up there telling you lies. He ain't a man of the Lord. And here's the point, all right, because we ain't flagging people down. Oh, please don't do that. All right, especially in these times, man. Verse 38, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant, all right? So if they want to walk up into these churches, which are not preaching the word of the Lord, which his true name is Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushah, if they don't want to listen to that, go ahead, man, all right? You're going to have to find out the hard way that the Lord is not dealing with these churches and that the truth was over here, man. The truth is over here. Now, you know, I'm just looking over because he looking like he got a Muslim outfit on. Man, all yeah, the pimps. Yeah. Yeah. Shiki or something. Yeah. Them big ass four heads. Them yeah. pimps <laughs> all day. <laughs> but anyways, this is pretty much the most I've seen any Jake walk into that church, man. Tell From me. the years that I've been out here preaching, this, this is like the most that I've seen Jake out here out here uh, walking into these churches, man. Jake is getting worse and worse. It's getting yeah. close, closer to it. That's prophecy. Yeah, because uh, mostly you see a whole bunch of Edomites up in this Catholic church yep. over here walking up in that mud. Proves what I just said. Our people go out their way twice a year, something that they don't normally do to worship false idols. They ain't consistent in wickedness. I got a script. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 20. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in mine anger and in mine fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Ooh. What do you think he's Shoo. talking about? Shoo. Because Ooh. the United States is about to become a melting pot, literally. You're about to see why the United States got that name. It's omen nomen. It's prophetic. This is gonna be a melting pot because this will all you assembled groups of abominations gonna be melted at in that nuclear lake of fire. That's what it's talking about. So yeah, this bitch, he about to turn this bitch to a pot of gumbo. Cause ain't nothing in gumbo but abominations. You got your sausage, you got your shrimp, you got all kind of shit up in there. Mm. Pork. Pork Lloyd, whatever you got. Yeah, you got all kinds yeah. of shit in, in, in gumbo. Yeah. I will leave you there and melt you. That is literal. That is not uh, no spiritual <laughs> translation. That is literal. But y'all gonna ride, go ahead and ride with the white boy. <laughs> but y'all ain't learned by now, white boys, they gonna betray your ass. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is no different. <laughs> Cause they had this uh, little, oh, come on, Jake. He, he, he walking up in there, come on, Jake. But anyways, you had this uh, trend on uh, TikTok where uh, you have Eve say, go get yourself a snowman. That snowman uh -huh. gonna betray you. That snow <laughs> Matter of fact, that snowman Man. gonna eat you in the time of trouble that we coming into. Abominable snowman. Yeah. <laughs> get, you, get you an Edomite. That's what, that's, what, that's what they were saying. Yeah, he gonna recall, he gonna eat up, he gonna eat up his own point. Yeah. <laughs> like that old cartoon with them two Edomites is on that boat. It's an old Looney Tunes show, man. Two Edomites on the boat, no food. Like a I don't know, man, shit. And one of them was looking at the other they one. They were each other with a drum stick, bro. A cheeseburger. He started throwing seasoning on the leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you get that soft shake and throw it right in the middle of the ocean. Right. Y'all gonna be on that. Cannibalism, it's coming back, man. Or if y'all walking through the woods, y'all run across the bear, Esau gonna push your ass to that bear and dip. <laughs> he gonna push your ass to the bear and run to save his own ass. Yeah, that makes sense, man, because uh, I saw this uh, drone footage, and I guess the drone almost saved the dude, but this dude, this Edomite, was getting chased by a bear, and the drone actually caught it, and um, the bear actually saw the drone, and I guess gave him enough time to uh, escape for the bear, if I'm not mistaken. But shoot, yeah, y'all gonna be out there looking stupid, man, running from these bears. Like man. the brother said, you gonna get pushed down. He <laughs> <laughs> gonna dip on your head. <laughs> he gonna, you gonna get tore up, man. 
Man, so, D, he the man. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't learned yet, man. I want to say, well, I was going to say Salaki to that uh, Jake that got out that car because I thought he was going to walk to uh, the church. But still, it's Easter. Yeah. It's about 12. So he probably still came from an Easter service. He's going to ease over there. He ain't want to walk over there in front of us. That's yeah. what it was. He's going to ease his ass over there. I ain't nobody stopping you, Jake, from worshiping these false gods. <laughs> We're not judging you. He did. He uh, half holy because he got the beard. <laughs> <laughs> that beard don't mean shit. <laughs> worshiping cheese and rice. Yeah, you worshiping cheese and rice. That beard is about to get burnt, burnt up, man. If anything, Jake's that's growing beards now that's not in the truth. They doing it because they see us do it. It's a and they, they trying to use it as a, a, a fashion statement. This ain't fashionable. We are not a part of this world. To be a fashion statement, you got to be a part of this world. Mm -hmm. So once again, the celebrities got rocking the beards from the Israelites. They weren't because doing the women like beards. Beards represent manhood. Masculinity. Exactly. And they still saw the mites anyways. You had exactly. that. <laughs> you had this uh, one Jake a couple years ago. Was it like two, three years ago? We were down here. He had his uh, beard all painted uh, uh, yellow or orange or whatever. Ooh, his yeah. hair was, and he was wearing a dress. Through man, this is Babylon, the land of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> this place got to be destroyed. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember I that, remember, Jake. I remember that, yeah. dude. Sitting on <laughs> Cisco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember this one Jake that had his ass on. This one Jake, I remember, man, he Suki, was as big man. as James Harden. He had a beard like James Harden. This is when I was in the world, when I used to go to this church, uh, around right the corner from here, man, he was like big, like Shaq, like about 6'5", and I, he was gay. <laughs> Damn. He was, gay. he was in the choir and everything. I, I oh, knew he damn. was gay. And then I heard I heard somebody talking about it. I think I seen him on Facebook with another dude kissing. Yeah, I was like, yeah, he gonna be destroyed. Yeah. So despite all that, just because you go to church every Sunday and worship a false idol, you think you're gonna be saved. Despite the fact that you sleep with men, despite that these other people sleeping with trees, they raping trees now. <laughs> they ecosexuals. I'm like, really? You need the wood that bad, you're going to rape a tree. <laughs> that show you how gone these people are mentally and spiritually. They don't know where they at. That's why it's called Babylon. Babel means confusion. The little holes in the ground in the backyard for garden snakes is going to be used for something else for them people. Yeah, they're very resourceful. Very. They got vivid imaginations. Because whoever came up with having sex with a tree, Man. What, bro, what, what where, they where your mind at? Yeah, what they doing? Drilling the holes in the tree? I don't know, bro. I don't, uh, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know, man. Somebody That's stuck their finger in the exhaust pipe in the car. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, I was that, like, what the hell, man? That Edomite was through, man. They're giving their cars names. Fell in love with the body of this car. Patricia, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> he rubbing on it. He was caressing it and shit. Kissing so, on it. So you were been an idol. That's your uh, car. These people worship anything, man. Anything but the real, true and living God. They rather worship anything else, but that's what's gonna get you fucked up because the Lord accusing you of being willfully ignorant. You wanna stay in darkness, and those who are in darkness will be destroyed. So you made your choice. Mm. I got a scripture over there too, and I was beside them, man, like, like, like how you said, Hey, y'all made y'all choice, man. You know, you're going to be destroyed, you know, in that decision making that you're doing. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14, in verse 12, it says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fortification and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither should they be forever. I'm going to skip down to uh, verse 16. It says, Thus the process of time and ungodly custom grow strong was kept as a law. Easter. And the graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. Hey, people be wearing these crosses, uh -huh. yeah. you know. They had something called, what's it called, Good Friday or something? Yep. Yeah. I never Jesus even heard Friday, of that when yeah. I was in the world, honestly. But I, didn't, I, I think I knew of it, but I didn't really, I never even celebrated that you were in the world. But they got something called Ash Wednesday where they put ashes on their, uh, under their ass. Yeah, looking like, like football that? players. Yeah. <laughs> That's not biblical, man. That's not in the scriptures at all. Because you, you go into our history, our, our, our history, what we did, man. We put on sackcloth, man. We ain't brush our teeth. We, ain't, you know, well the scriptures do say, um, 
you know, just appear as though, you know, you're not fasting. But we we put on sackcloth, man. We didn't eat, you know. We fasted. That's what we did, and we prayed to the Lord, and we asked the Lord for forgiveness, man. You know, to the Lord, you know, to to not judge us from for what we have done, man. And that's what the Lord had done for us in the past, man. When you do your history, now you got all these bugged out stuff that people are into, like 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 brother brought out ash. You know, you ain't got to do all that, man. Just seek the Lord. That's why we also give you the true name of the Lord, which is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. That name's a strong tower. The righteous run into it, man. And it's say, you know, we this is what we're doing right here is part of pleading our cause. Trying to get the heck up out of here, man. All these extra stuff, man. It, it, they, the people about to find out it, it's going to amount to nothing, man. Good Friday. Because people was off work for that. People yeah. was off school. Yeah, for they that. gave me off. We'll take the day off to condemn this wicked ass kingdom, but that's oh, that, that's good. not the scriptures. Yeah. Good Friday. That's gonna be a hell Friday soon. Yeah. <laughs> I got a scripture unless brother got one. So I just wanted to bring this out because you were talking about how Jake running in these churches or not, and the most high doesn't dwell in there. I bring this scripture all the time, it's one of my favorites, because the most high doesn't dwell in temples made by man's hands, man. This is Acts 7 and 48. <clears throat> Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with, with hands, as said the prophets. We are the temple, man. We the church. We out here with the truth. Not these builders, man. But Jake, like you said earlier, Jake liked to run in there and hit them smooth and buttery words, man. I got a preach up on that. This is Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. And this is how our people react when you tell them the truth. But they refuse to hearken. They pull away the shoulder and stop at their ears that they should not hear. They don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear it because it goes against everything that cheese and rice promise. Our people don't want to be held to laws and rules. They want to be free like the heathen. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Your ass going to die like the heathen. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jake yeah. want to believe in universal salvation and acceptance. And the Lord is not with none of that. Shoot, I matter of fact, up. it's like you, brother. Matter of fact, uh, the scriptures, and Ezekiel says, if the laws would have given, would have been given unto the heathen, they would have been gladly, man. They would have gladly accepted it. But here it is: the law says, your commandments were given unto you, and you're the chosen people. You're the greatest people on the earth, and you disregard the Lord, man. Every single day, you disregard the Lord. You disregard the Lord, man. And so the Lord has something has something heaped up for you, man. He got some. Hey, hey, hey. He gone, man. <laughs> he, he made me messed up, man. Gone. He just put his legs up on the back of the side of here. He's true. The problem with our people is our people want the love of their enemies instead of the love of your how about shimmy how shot. They want to be loved and accepted by their enemies. You are mentally fucked up. Yeah. Uh, I got Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. That's what these, that's what our people want. They want to hear nothing but lies. But they walk around here and talk about they hate being lied to. Just you hate being lied to, but you go run and listen to lies. Don't make Why sense. you hate being lied to when you pay somebody to lie to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't make no sense, man. Our people don't make no sense. <laughs> I'm looking over here. I'm just like, just give it up, Jake. Just go. We got to go through all that. Just, just go, Jake. <laughs> our people more, our people more concerned about being loved by their enemies than being loved by your how about mm -hmm. and how shot. That's their biggest concern of the day. Does Esau love me? Does the other nations love me? Why do you care about the mind state of slaves? Yeah. That shows you right there, you don't have a king's mentality. They're supposed to be subservient unto you. Exactly. Taking care of you. 
rubbing your feet if you want them to touch you, you know? Concerning yourself with the yeah. thoughts of slaves. <laughs> Who gives a damn? Did they give a damn when they were over you? Hell no. They still don't give a damn. Hell no, and they never will until they're forced to. E even the vote was shown that we, the true people of the Lord, are they still out here trying to save you? Oh man, you are the people of the Lord, man. I'm sorry for all the things that we have done to you. Yeah, are they, are they doing that? They hate you even more now. Yeah. Because they know that it's official. Oh shit. Yeah, that's why I said just. Yeah, that's why I said you need to let it go. You need to let it go. Yeah. He's crazy. She provoking him? Yeah. She said something to him. She don't want to be saved. Mm -hmm. Don't save her. <laughs> yeah, like that one uh, bitch that came up to your car that one day we was over here. She, she lucky she, yeah, that she, I left yeah. that thing at the house that day. <laughs> she lucky, that's all I got to say. Not promote no violence, but you don't walk up on nobody's vehicle with a hammer. We don't know you, we don't know your intentions. You could have easily stomped the ass up under the truck. <laughs> but I was like, no. Take your ass on down the street. Yeah, that's part of this wisdom, man. It gives you gives you understanding how to uh, handle. How to move out yeah. here, man. Because yeah. uh, she she has some, ma if, if y'all would have saw her, she had some major demons on her, man. Major demons. Yeah, she was trying to start something so, so she could falsely accuse us. Like, hey, you saw, we wasn't even looking at you. We didn't even see you. Then she talking about she was just playing. Okay. Yeah, you can tell she got she her mind to look at her car. Well, you know, like you know thing, things happen to your car, but, you know. Man, you can tell she's been in tell. a cup. At least two yeah. hit and runs. Yeah, yeah. easy. <laughs> you know, she probably going to go high somewhere. Gonna as soon as he pull off, then she going to follow him or something. Yeah, because he got a nice car. Look like he doing well for himself, but you know, look like he was wise in that situation. Cause she, uh, I don't know if y'all saw, but yeah, she she was provoking him. I'm yeah. like, man, just let it go, Jay. And yeah. she ain't worth I did it. see, as soon as she provoked him to anger, what did she do? That bitch start smiling and laughing yeah. and yeah. giggling at him. Cause these punk ass bitches like doing that shit. Yeah. They like purposely getting on Jake's nerve to get him out of character. So he can flip out on them and then they can just put his ass in jail and she wrong free. Yeah. Wrong free. They just want to see if they got power over you to push your buttons. And once you show a woman that that they are powerless, you can't push my buttons, that's when that's when they are they going on about their business because they see they can't control you. If a woman knows that she can piss you off at any given moment, that's control. Oh, yeah. Told you she'd be back. I think that's right up. Could be. Nah, that's a different nah, car. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she finally got the memo, but some of these chicks, man, like the brother said, <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised she tried to hit his car one day. <laughs> yeah. They they be like that. That's why we be trying to tell you, you Jake. I got the perfect uh scripture on that. Proverbs chapter three, no, uh, Salaki, chapter thirty-one, verse three. Give not thy strength unto women. Nor thy ways to that which destroy of kings. Mm. Yep. Don't let these women push your buttons just to push you to anger, just because they want to see you mad. Tell that bitch to get the hell on and leave it at oh, that. Oh, she she, 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 yeah. she <laughs> like a shark. <laughs> she like a shark. <laughs> that bitch is circle back around. <laughs> we do it. She's gonna come back. <laughs> she remind me of this uh, chick that I watched uh, yesterday on YouTube, man. She said she had an abortion, which really she uh, gave up the child. Um, she was like, man, I had another baby with you. And, and the person that was commentating, well, um, the mediator, you know, because Jake, when he heard that she actually gave away the child, man, he was hurt because he thought that the child passed away or she. she turned yeah, yeah. Did she turn it? Oh, uh, yeah. She wicked. Girl, <laughs> she she, feed, she feeding off of that, man. This man yeah. beat your ass she out She feeding that, man. <laughs> we in the time of judgment, man. Yeah. But anyways, uh, Jake Jake was hurt, hurt about that because he he didn't know that she actually gave away the child. He thought that uh, she she uh, that the child just passed away. And um, the dude that uh, the mediator was like, man, y'all need to get away from each other. Y'all don't need to be laying down with each other. 
And he was like, man, can we just do it one more time? Just one more time. Just You can tell she wicked, man. She a sucker bitch. You know? She was trying to rope him back yeah, in. Yeah, rope her back in. She, she said she gave away the child or told him that the child passed away because she, she just wanted that man to hurt. She was like, man, that, that man has no feelings, man. That's because men are different. We, we, um, we maneuver through this world differently than women, man. Yeah, we, we follow logic yeah. and reasoning. We don't, we don't let our emotions guide us through this world. Emotions get you fucked up. Yeah, yeah she was definitely, uh, yeah. She kept straight. Yeah. But still, she, she trying to fuck with that dude, man. Mm -hmm. Now, there are spirits created for vengeance, and I've noticed an uptick and Eve's getting deleted. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about a huge uptick. Like the Lord said, there are spirits out here created for vengeance. And we also say, stated that uh, two thirds, the majority of two thirds are women. That's gonna be taken out because women outnumber men seven to one. So the majority of the two thirds that's gonna be judged is gonna be you wicked ass Eve. And every, every woman that follows your ways. Remember, Israel is the salt of the earth. So the other nations, they follow us, whether they want to or not. Israelites lead this world, whether we want to or not. That's just how we were created. Everybody flocks to Jake as far as fashion. They want to talk like us, dress like us, rap like us, smell like us, yep. do they hair like us. We are the salt of the earth. If they don't want to admit it, they, they still follow They it. don't have to admit it. They outfit tells it. Yep. Because yep. they dress like us. Yeah, they show it. They ain't got to admit shit. The proof is right there. Countenance, man. Yeah. They talk like us. Now you got Japanese, uh, the Ammonites. They the hair like us. Yeah, they, they want coarse, uh, nappy hair like us. Some of them is Jake's, but a lot of them is just emulating us, man. Right. Yep. <laughs> Remember Michael Rappaport said, they hate us because they ain't us. They ain't us. Ain't I nobody mean, going out their way trying to be no tunnel rat. What is you talking about? <laughs> who, who putting the little squigglies on the side now, of who, who putting the little snakes <laughs> on the other side of their shit? Nobody. But everybody rocking their hair like Israelites, yeah. bro. Not you Amalekites. You'll see, he the bright trying to get dreads. That shit now. Do you see a bunch of do you see a bunch of Jakes in the club doing that jump around dance like y'all? No. <laughs> Hell no. No. <laughs> <laughs> if we did it, we'll put some uh, we'll put some we'll put salt some on, to on that thing. That's all they can do is just bounce up and down. They should go inside. They have a whole line just dancing in sync, dog. You know what I'm saying? With that rags, shit. <laughs> swinging little rags. That shit like something you'll do in a rave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know they ain't the people. And uh, shalom, y'all, by some y'all, shout to the Akiom and Aqua up on the comic board. Shalom, shalom. Yeah, I was just thinking about that situation with that Eve and that dude. Uh, this guy at my job the other day, he told me, like, he went right across the street into the gas station as a speedway. Then he said, he heard some gunshots. And the next thing you know, he, he was like, oh. Then he, like, looked outside. He said, he said they was having a shootout right across from the job. Damn. He said he didn't even know that was happening until he, like, heard it and he turned around. He was like, people was acting like nothing was even going on. They just had to shoot out and left. I was like, what type of shit? <laughs> See, I mean, they, that's going to be the norm, though. Yeah, People right, are yeah. numb to it now. Yeah. They, are, they are numb to violence through movies and music. And every day, uh, PSYOPs Esau creates. They are numb to the shit now. But that's all right, though. Y'all ain't numb to what y'all about to show me how shot about to bring. Yep. I don't know nothing that's going to be able to numb you to that. You going to react. Yep. Yeah, the scriptures speak of they want to rocks to fall upon them instead of facing the wrath of Yahweh, uh, Yahweh fought Shem Yahweh, right? Think how bad he, he uh, uh, Yahweh Shah is out here messing up these people, man. That they want the rocks to fall upon them instead of getting a, a fist to the chest. <laughs> Get laser beams, man. Take it like a bed. <laughs> they don't want that, man. they rather bury themselves underground gonna die in a bunker. You rather die in a bunker slowly than go on getting it over with. They think they're gonna have a fallout moment. This will come and destroy everything. And then they come up out the bunker on the They ain't coming out.
because if everything destroyed, it's gonna be something blocking your way out. Yep. You ain't getting out. You gonna die underground if you go underground. If 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 not, the Lord didn't pick you to be the first fruits of slavery. So it don't matter. You still done for. You think you just gonna emerge into a dystopian world like in the Terminator? Now you the king of the hill. This this ain't the movies, bro. This is real life that's about to happen. Y'all yep. better get y'all self out of that fake world you living in. Because the only way out of this is through this book. For a lot of them, it's, damn, it's over, bro. A lot of them know they, they, they too far gone. That's why they won't even turn toward the truth. They know they too far gone. Your ass is grass. Max. Man. Like, well, I done did too much to turn back. It ain't never too late, but if that's how you feel, then maybe it is for you. Oh, yes. Yep. Shoot. Because it's both going to be hard out here for you, Jake's man, when that when that tribulation period rolls around, like the brother was saying about how cats will be getting caught up out here by these bears, man, and running from these animals and stuff. It's going to be a real bad time out here. Try to drown the word. As you see, the airplane flying by. It's gonna be real hard out here for you, Jakes, man. I'm gonna get uh, Amos 5, 18, and 19. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You're not gonna be able to get away from nothing out here, man. You ain't gonna get no rest. Like, you're gonna run one way and then you got to flee another way, man. You're gonna run from this and you got to run to that. Getting caught up by these animals out here, man. That's Seen the, the real teeth of wild beasts. They ain't got Seen the Edomite trying to pet a cougar, bro. Got his hand tore off. With his ass. Man. I'm like, he turns, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm like, you it, you know what oh, that is? Call his ass. <laughs> they been out here getting hip tossed by a crocodile and everything. I saw uh, Edomite the other day too. Uh, he was trying to pet a coyote. Oh, oh yeah! It looked around. Tore like his hand it, off. It looked yeah. around. Well, like it bit him. It bit him. It didn't tear his hand off. But it I'm like, it. that's what you get. You you lock your doors when Jake walked by, but a wild animal that that can possibly have rabies or other diseases, you gonna try to pet that mug. And it tears you up. <laughs> the, way, the, the way it walked up on him, it walked up on him like a sneaky Jake. Like, it looked around first. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then it snagged him. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, Israelites, you don't understand how Esau's spirit works. When you see an Edomite close to you, they lock their doors. They clench their purse a little closer. That's them spiritually falsely accusing you. Okay. And it goes right over your head. And you know what I do? When I see Edomites walk by, I hit the horn on my truck. <laughs> yeah, I'm false. I'm not falsely accusing you though, because you are the original thief. Mm -hmm. yep. Not us. And if Jake is a thief, he had one hell of a tutor. Esau. Yeah, we got it from you. Yeah. You like like um, was it last camp or so? I was going into uh, who were the original gangsters? Right. Who was the original? Thugs and all that. that. That was you, Esau, you know? And then you get glorified, you be called cool, you know, oh man, that that did that man was doing some good things, even though he was out there killing people. They made movies about you, man. Yeah, they, they celebrate them murderers. You. Yeah. But when Jake do it, ah oh, man, he's a scum of the earth. Man, you ought to hear how the media talk about Jake. But they give Edomites all kind of passes. Yep. Well, maybe this. No, ain't no maybe. He did that shit. He got in trouble like other beers. You can't maybe your way out of this. You did that shit. Let's say the book of Nehu, unless I got a scripture. Ah, uh, go ahead, get that. I, I got, I got like a couple, well, long verse I want to get. This is uh, Nehu 1 and verse 3. It says, the Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all quit the wicked. You see, that's what the Lord's not going to do. He didn't forget nothing that y'all did and everything that y'all still doing to this day. The, the Lord's just allowing y'all to power, sit upon sin, 
until he come back and destroy your ass with that with laser beam with that fire. He ain't ready, but you have Yeah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not spe not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, man. And that's time of the Edomites as well. Y'all think y'all getting away with it, so y'all go harder and harder and harder with your wickedness, thinking that you're getting away with it. But just know you're going to get them chains slapped on that ass, man. I'm to get them chains. Two chains. <laughs> 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 yeah, they gonna be the real two chains. So. <laughs> man, just, just take it like a man. You can do it. Eat. Take it like a man. You've been running from your judgment since the garden, man. That you tell it, you the hardest thing this universe ever seen. You can take it. You better not cry. You better not bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> You've been crying like a bitch since the garden, since man. Since Genesis, right? Yeah. This thing. <laughs> I heard this oh, man they gonna is, uh, come and kill me, man. I mean, he's supposed to be trying to fire up that surge or the eighth. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The eclipse. clips. Yeah, oh, they trying to escape judgment, but you ain't escaping shit. Yeah, they trying to fire a CERN, and then uh, I saw where they said NASA's gonna shoot some rockets at the eclipse. Like this nigga's stupid. That's no wisdom in team. Your arms too short to box with God. <laughs> 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 That's literal, homie. This nigga's stupid. First he tried to cover up the sun, he tried to blow up the moon. You an idiot, man. You that, a base man. The only thing that you are over as far as intelligence is the animal kingdom. But as far as the human family, you the dregs of the cup, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> you an idiot. Anybody ever told you that? I'm sure you heard it before. I'm sure you had to hear this before. <laughs> Because if you was a wise man and you knew the scriptures, you followed the scriptures, you knew who the children of Israel were, and you saw that all their enemies were taken down eventually, were thrown, you know, were overthrown, you know, or Israel rised up again, you would actually treat us better, man. But you're that lump of clay that's made to dishonor the Lord, so, you know, you can't do it, <laughs> you know? The scriptures say there's no wisdom in teaming. You can't do it, man. You, you dumb, you stupid. You threw. Put him in the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Shoot. He Be buried himself. Because they also trying to um, pass the law to banish gas cars, which that goes into the war since they really lost the war in uh, Ukraine over there. You know, so now they can't get gas over here for a cheap. And now you're trying to ban gas cars, which... If you was actually a wise man and had this place prosperous, you have these cars running on refuelable energy, water. running on um, uh, clean energy, I should say. Water. You you can do that. Water. You do that. Hydrogen. All right. You can do that. You can have. Uh, they also trying to make clean uh, uh, fuels. They trying to do that over there in the EU, but you you're not a wise man, you know. No. You. You love death, so you gotta have this world polluted with gas cars. Now, gas cars, for the most part, are still more efficient than uh, electric cars. Mm -hmm. All right, because uh, you look it up, to make an electric car uh, pretty much puts out the same or even more pollution than it does to make a, a gas car. All right, and pretty much they just uh, cars with a uh, uh, they pretty much cell phones with uh, wheels on it because the battery degradation, all right? The battery goes down. And so what happens when the battery goes down? You got to throw it up and you build up a lamp. This man ain't wise, man. Yeah, this dude. man ain't wise. Yeah, you <laughs> know, this, uh, this dude, he's, uh, he's having problems with his, his electric vehicle. And they told him there was something wrong with his batteries. Now, he paid $40,000 for this car. Damn. How about they told him to replace it? all his batteries? It's going to cost him 67000 That's more than what the car worth. Why would you do that? Woo. And then these cars don't put out no heat versus a car with a combustible engine yeah. where it reroutes the heat from the engine to the inside of the car. Electric vehicles don't have that. All they have is heated seats. Mm. And then they're almost impossible to charge 
in increment cold, cold weather. Yeah. So you sitting out there in the cold about to get frostbite trying to charge this car in sub temperature weather. You look like an idiot. Yeah. You got to drive a gas vehicle car behind your electric vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> have somebody tell you just to charge the car, you're going to sit there for hours. <laughs> and then also they have Tesla service. And that Tesla, Tesla service car, if I'm not mistaken, is a diesel car. Make it make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you was environmental <laughs> critics. What the hell you got this diesel car here for with a Tesla name on it? You a hypocrite. That costs more than regular Ooh. gas, too. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing. When you have a diesel car as well, um, pretty much if you have it sitting still. Sitting in idle. Yeah, in idle. It. Yeah, it doesn't burn any gas. That's, that's why they That's why they like diesel. That's actually why they're trying to get rid of it. Because it's actually very efficient. Yeah. That's why it costs more. I'd rather have a diesel car because that's why. Why you think they let these trucks run all night at truck stops? Yeah. It's not burning any gas while it's in idle. And they got diesel trucks. They go a thousand. You know, Trump even brought it up, yeah. which he's controlled opposition. They go a thousand miles easy yeah. on one on one tank. Yeah, I didn't know that. But uh, uh, electric, they uh, the Tesla truck or whatever. The big, the big semi, I think that only goes like 300 or 400 miles on one charge. Yeah. You know, so which one's more efficient, you know? <laughs> and your ass, you in, you in the car, in an electric vehicle, sweating your ass off <laughs> because you worried about how you gonna get back home if this bitch go dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just plug it into the wall. <laughs> no. And then also, I was looking at the Porsche Taycan, the electric version. And I saw, you know, that's that's why it's good to not be a first adapter, man, because these cars cost a house, $120,000, the electric version. And then you go on Auto Trader or whatever, for that same car now, it's all the way down to 40000 Here yeah. it is, you, you paid a house, or you got a loan for pretty much a second house, and then you go in to try to trade in your car, they don't even want it. And it's all the way valued to $40,000. Yep. Yeah, I was man, like, you gotta man. think about it, man. They say that as soon as you drive these brand new cars off the lot, they depreciate. They devalue, the they yeah, depreciate. 3000 3, Tremendously. Yeah. So now you ain't gonna get what you put into it. You ain't gonna get what you paid for it for. Yeah, my car, it was like worth uh, 30000 or uh, 35000 when I got it off the lot now, I look at on uh, Auto Trader, it's like fifteen to thirteen thousand. I'm like, man, but that's 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 you know it is what it is. But for an electric car to go from a house to forty grand, that's heavy. That's, that's heavy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the um the Mustang SUVs. Oh we, yeah, we yeah, saw one it. of them at the dealership. They going for sixty four thousand. And on a on a full charge, they can only travel 264 miles one way on a full charge. That's garbage. Hey, but, I was but, in there, uh, I'm yeah. thinking, man, the truck I got, it go 400 miles on a full tank. Mars do too. Or they can go up to 500 depending on uh, driving. And then I can get back because it's a gas station yeah. where I'm going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's it going, brother? Shit, they didn't water down the gas so much. You was, you didn't go further than that. Mm -hmm. But they water the gas now. Yeah, they did. Real gas at these gas stations. They that shit destroy your it. engine too. Yeah, yeah I, I was experiencing that uh, last year because I'm like, why ain't my car more efficient, man? It's, it seemed like it's less efficient. But I went to like a Sam's Club gas station, man. You know, I guess because they get the gas on the low. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's a, well, yeah, it's a little cheaper sometimes. Sometimes, for the most part. They cut that shit. But um, it's it's. Man, it's more efficient gas, or it's better quality gas that they're putting in uh, Sam's Club gas. So I just been using them. You gotta remember now when Biden first came in, he started messing with the gas. Yeah. He started putting more ethanol in the gas yeah. on purpose, which destroys engines over time. He knew what he was doing, man. Because it, it, hey, we're not, we're not ignorant of Satan devices, and so that's why they uh, uh, passing the bill to have. Uh, um, Electric cars out here, man. With no way to charge them. Yeah. Because 
like a gas station. Over here, there's a gas station on every corner for the most part. Yeah, yeah right down there. Yeah, but where's the electric electric charging stations, man? You gotta have one hell of an extension cord. Y'all seen <laughs> that movie, uh, what's it called? The movie that came out a couple months ago where the Teslas was crashing? Yeah, uh, leave, the world, leave behind. the world behind. Yeah. Yeah. Them ain't nothing but drones, man. Like Warren said, them ain't nothing but control drones. <laughs> That's all it is. That's the spirit because on my way to camp, man, I saw a Tesla on the side of the road getting picked up by a, 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 a trailer truck or whatever. The tow truck? <laughs> yeah, tow truck. Yeah, when that extreme weather hit, them cars were stranded all over the city, man. Rude. Because they couldn't charge in extreme cold weather. I wonder how they do like when it's real hot. You know how your phone will get uh, hot, but it sends you a signal. It's probably what it does with the touch. They probably had to pull oh, over, let the car cool off. Yeah. Yeah. Shutting right. down, <laughs> car overheated. Wait a minute, bro, I'm on the freeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. drones and shit. It was, I noticed one cat, he said he was riding around down. And he said he seen some drones that was delivering food, little robots, man. Yeah, they, 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 oh, they got them out now? Yeah, he said he seen some robots. He said it was going like 10 miles an hour, but it was going to where it was going to deliver food. Okay. Amazon was talking about doing that some time ago, yeah. having drones drop out packages and shit. That ain't going to work because when these people get desperate, guess what they're going to start doing? Shooting, Shooting down drones. Shooting them down. <laughs> Shooting them down. Shooting them down. <laughs> Grabbing them. Don't grab that pizza. <laughs> they had that in the movie. I think it was Ready Player One, where they had drones dropping off yeah. Pizza Hut pieces, bro. Yeah. yeah. Straight to your window. They showed up commercials and stuff. Matter of fact, that happened to one of my family members uh, a couple weeks ago or last week or so. You know, uh, her package just got delivered to her. And then next thing you know, you look up, these people, she had it on the ring cam, these people just came up and stole the package, man. Porch pirates. Yeah, they gonna follow the drone and then see where it goes yeah. and take it as soon as it drops yeah. the package. Them porch pirates. <laughs> man. I done seen so many videos of them getting set up. One lady picked up a, a, a box of doo-doo. <laughs> Serves her right. The man set her ass up because he caught her on, on, a, on a doorbell camera stealing his shit. So he put a box of doo-doo out there for her ass. And she got it. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, the scripture say, "Thou shall not steal." Thou shall not steal. This one, uh, he saw to see that. He saw to say, "That's the hate speech." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one, Jake went on a, a porch and picked up their package, and that shit was a flashbang. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a grenade! Yeah, it was, it was, his ear was ringing like a mug. He was rolling all on the grass and shit. I and saw dude, that. He wasn't at home, but he could talk through the microphone away from the house. And he <laughs> was snapping on dude on the line, rolling around, <laughs> ears ringing. Dog. I that bet you won't do that hell. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he blew up what he grabbed. Look that Chris Ben over there. <laughs> what he doing? Cave uh, Ben. Being weird. Yeah. He's about to cave. Baby Cave in Louisville. I think mean, that's awesome. That's, that's somewhere else in Kentucky. Any type of truth you bring out on Esau, he gonna name that hate speech. Look like he was looking through the car, gonna break your bed. Yeah, you know I had to make sure weird. real quick. That's what Esau did. This they do. Weird, man. They do, man. They get on my nerves. Daily. It's a vexation to clock in every day, I'm telling you. They always want to talk to you. Like, shut your ass, ass up. Man. I they talk about so much of nothing. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't want to know about your family like that. Or they want to stare at you. I'll be, I'll be the same way. Like, yeah, what you so infatuated yeah. with me for, man? I got, I got the same Edomite at my job, man. Like, how do I know more about your wife than I do? I'm not supposed it, to know. Uh, yeah, all yeah, that. that's that's what everybody's been telling them. We've been sitting them down, like, hey, bro, shut up, <laughs> calm it down. Yeah, I you don't know, if, if you're going like to stay that, with her, stay with her. But stop talking about her at work, man. People at work be trying to tell you their whole life. Whole life, life story. That's how you know they're crazy. They yeah. ain't got no sense. They want, they want, they trying to seek sympathy. Okay. How are you trying to seek sympathy from a situation you put yourself in and I, refuse to leave? They talk about, you think I should go five rounds with my wife tonight? I don't give a damn yeah, what you do. Work. I don't care. At least, well, if you ain't here tomorrow, we know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that also reminds me of the uh, Jake that was telling you about his uh, wife cheated on him. Yeah. This nigga's a dumbass. Tell me why I look on social media. They taking pictures with each other. Pussy got your dizzy. <laughs> That's that, uh, that UGK. <laughs> Pussy got your dizzy. <laughs> we just read Proverbs 31 and 3. 
<laughs> Do not give that power to women that destroy him kings. Pussy whipped. I'm like, this nigga is a dumb man, and he still ain't been to work. So I don't know if he got fired or if he going through like some counseling. They got to work where they pay you like half your pay or whatever. She probably he, put him on punishment. That before. dude ain't worried about his money. Nigga, he worried about what she doing. Low, yeah. women, dog. He I'm, worried about what she doing. I'm like, nigga, don't come, don't, don't come to work crying about your woman ever again. Don't do it, cause everybody else is gonna tell you you need to leave. I don't care if you got kids, with or not. You need to go. I let him stay in that situation because look at it like this: you a grown ass man. You can leave. You don't want to leave. So if you, you like it, it, I love it. Yeah. If you like being dogged out, I love it. Stay getting dogged out. That's just like a a a, a woman in an abusive relationship. You must like getting your ass whooped. You still there? Yeah, you still there. <laughs> but I love him. That love gonna get you fucked up. <laughs> My homeboy that was going through that madness with that, uh, that eating my chick back home. She pulled a gun on him, but not her. He ended up leaving, but he went back. You went back? Oh, he went back. Nigga. Now you back on social media talking about love scars. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you would you do <laughs> soft ass. That's soft as hell, really. And your soft, name, bro. You name yourself Raven Love on top of this. He named himself. Change the name to Raven Love. She probably made him do it. <laughs> you better change your name if I beat your ass. Hell, boy. Ain't she no like way a greyhound. Hell. A ground. Yeah, she like a greyhound, bro. Like real long <laughs> nose and neck and real skinny. See, these are just some of many reasons is why we out here, man. Because Jake is through. Jake is on his knees crying and begging for his whorish wife to come back to him, man. You know? We, we got to get out of here, man. I got the perfect precept. First Ezra chapter 4, verse 26. Yep, yep. Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. That's, you, that's simp nation right there. Simp Nation, y'all, there's a lot of y'all. Y'all deep as hell. Y'all outnumber the real men. Simp Nation, baby. Yeah, because y'all niggas was out there saying the black woman's God. You know what I'm saying? Now I look at you. The it's main polite. one saying that in prison. It's polite. Brother Polite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We see you, baby. Yeah. We see you. Don't drop that soap now. <laughs> night, night. Keep your butt hold tight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop that soap, baby. Hey, I bet you won't step to the apostles no more with that bullshit. Yeah, they probably tell him, tearing his ass up literally. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah. they praise the Diddy while they're at it. Yeah. <laughs> take that. Hey, take hey, that, they, take hey, that, they take ready that. for Diddy to come in. <laughs> take that. <laughs> they gonna be like that uh, dude off the blue ducks with that big ass nigga came behind him. <laughs> you ain't even used the soap once. <laughs> <laughs> I call it a peanut butter and jelly ass sandwich. Uh -huh. But you are calling it lunch, Tom. He did it, ran through y'all. He ran through some rappers. Man, he ran through a he bunch ran of through y'all. There was even a picture up in there with uh, What's his Stevie, Stevie J. Stevie J. Laid up with an yeah. Edomite man, dog. They they looking, all did looking passionate, bro. Like they called yeah, it a yeah. passionate moment. Like they all, one of them 1970 album he covers. He had one of them faces, all his face was all cringed up, so you know he was probably blasting one. That's how, you, man, this this is, is that's nasty, why we got to get the heck up out of here. Yeah. So just remember, if you want to be famous, you got to be huh. spreading some ass cheeks of another man or getting your ass cheeks you spread. You got to get beat down. You yeah. Get <laughs> you got to get that whipped cream in between your cheeks. Mm. <laughs> you Hell no. Get that strawberry, too, on top. You got to let somebody run up in them goods. <laughs> we laugh about it, but it's serious. They, they <laughs> say we laugh because we laugh at you stupid ass niggas <laughs> stupid enough to do that shit. You know how many ways it is to make money in Babylon? You don't have to do that. You choose to yeah. do it. Because you could have got your money and then invested into a business or got into some real estate or something. They got your money up in, in, in that way. Or you put like a million dollars in um, a stock like the Lowe's or something like that, and you would have got paid ten thousand dollars each month if you get uh, put in like uh, I think it's like a million or two million into yeah. like a stock like Lowe's, and you 
if you wise with your money, you can live off of $10,000 easy a month. Yeah, yeah. That's too slow for Jake, though. Yeah. Jake like that thing, though, with fast cash. <laughs> so now, it's like, yourself, and so now you defiled yourself. Your how about Shimmy Shah has your number, and you going to be flamed up, man. <laughs> Just tell you the Lord has no use for a sinful man. Sure. You have to be destroyed. There's no yeah. negotiating. There's no asking or trying to repent. It's it. It's over for your ass. I got a scripture on there. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give it in exchange for his soul? We know the answer to that, don't we, Jake? Booty. Exactly. <laughs> you giving up your manhood. You giving up your integrity. You letting the booty warrior tell you. For a piece of paper with your enemy face on. Please. Mm. How stupid can you be that stupid? I got we didn't forget he's out here now. Please, uh, Johnson. Oh, yeah. He on the loose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a uh, first Timothy 6 and 10. <laughs> For the love of money is the root of all, all evil. evil which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, man. Look at look at these cats out here doing shit strange for a piece of change. Exactly. That's good, brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, I remember that, brother. He yeah, he used to come through here all the time, right? Yeah, I remember he was talking to us, he was right there. Better bump his face. Hey, they come to you as thy people. They hear that word, but they would not do them. They would not take nope. heed. So, you know, it is what it is. As I just read earlier, you know, uh, let him be ignorant. That's ignorant, man. Beside his children, so don't even worry about it. If they don't listen, they just don't listen. They just don't listen. Yep. You know, we not out here, because uh, I remember when I was in the church, they would go door to door, <laughs> knocking on the door. You know, you want to come. You want to come to church. You know, the scriptures say we don't do that, man. You just go out there on the highways and byways, preach the word, and if they take heed, they take heed. If, if they don't, you know, move on. Yeah, shake the dust up yep. off your feet. You ain't gotta go to the hood either, where Jake is at. You know, you ain't gotta do that. The Lord is the one that's gonna gather up the elect. The word gonna pull yeah. them in. All you gotta do is teach, yep. and it's gonna bring in who it brings in. And it's gonna reject who it's gonna reject. We're not even doing our own thing. The Lord put the spirit on us to do this. You know, because we had we had dreams and aspirations. So the Lord woke us up. He's like, oh man, that's what you gotta do to be famous. I don't want that life, man. No, that's I why. I, that's why I, I dropped the mic immediately when I came to this truth. You can ask him. And then, and then my homeboys at the crib asked me when I'm going to put out another album. I'm like, I told them straight up. I don't think the Lord would be wanting me to do that right now. And I was right. Because these rappers are gay as hell, all outdoors. And I don't care how big you think you get in the rap game, Amalek will always be over you. Yeah. So what's the point? Look at Teddy Cruz, how big that nigga is, man. A small little scrawny ass Edomite grabbed his stuff, man. And he ain't do nothing about it. He go over there crying. He should have knocked his ass out, but that's how you know you, you want that fame and fortune. You can't yeah. knock his little ass out. Oh, that word Jake that always be flexing. Yeah, yeah, Terry Crews. Terry Crews. Yeah. yeah. Played in the NFL and, you know, doing all that Pride stuff. Pride out the nigga. Yeah. Trying to lusting out the Tupac and shit. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, I yeah. feel like that was real oh, right boy, there. It was, was really about chicks. that. Oh, what else? He got him. His, his wife looked like one of the actual white chicks in the movie. Yeah, oh, for real? Yeah, oh, God. That might be yeah. King uh, Sean Wins. God. Because I ain't heard from him in a minute. <laughs> I got this script for those who don't want to listen. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Need to lift up pride nor prayer for them. Need to make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So even if we was to pray for you, like the Christians say, the Lord ain't hearing it because he knows that your judgment is already written. The scriptures tell you in uh, John 17, and, uh, I think it's verse, it's John 17 and 4, uh, verse 9, it says, 
I pray for them, the elect. This is the words in red from my Lord Yahweh Shah. It says, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. You see, the Lord is not praying for this world. When people be saying, well, pray for the world, pray for America, man, this place is going to be destroyed, man. It's already my written. It's true, man. It's Nobody written. Praying for this. If something's written, it's, it's cemented in stone. It's going to happen. You want to pray for a place to keep your ass oppressed. You know what I'm saying? You got to go bust your ass for these devils every day to make little America. to no money, man. And you know what really pissed me off? How the two-thirds of our people fight to stay on the bottom. They never fought harder to stay on the bottom. What's mm -hmm. wrong with you people? Yeah, because they just came out with this uh, statistics that showed that Jake is at the bottom of the income earning. You're at the bottom. All the other nations, for the most part, are above you and making more money than you. And you still fighting to stay here, man. Just fighting to stay at the bottom. Go ahead. That's a destroyed people. What's that, uh, Hosea 4 and 6? Unless I got a scripture, uh, I can get that one. Yeah, we'll probably get a couple more and close out. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 6. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack, lack of, of knowledge, knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will, I will also forget thy children. That's what the Lord has done, and that's why you jakes are in the mindset that y'all is. Mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of you people out there feel like you have never lived. You've only ex been existing. <coughs> Esau done worked his magic on you to the point that you feel like you don't deserve better. You feel like you don't deserve nothing. That's a destroyed people. Like Jake, Jake is just so caught up on what hood they from and you know, just- That ain't your hood, bro. Block. That's Esau's hood. <laughs> yeah, they don't want he nothing come through that and lay all y'all stupid asses down on if the corner selling dope. Yeah. You don't want nothing better. You don't own no store or nothing over there. You got all your enemies coming over there getting um, running the liquor stores, corner stores, gas stations, getting paid, taking yeah. your money. A lot of them selling dope for uh, the police. Jake got a Hellcat, but he living at the projects. And the most yeah. I said that y'all last week was gonna, we was gonna be on the bottom, man. Yeah. It's as simple as that. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger, the stranger that is within thee shall get above, get up above thee very high, mm -hmm. and thou shalt come down very low, man. And that's why we're in such a low state and these people are above us, bro. They feel like they don't deserve better. They satisfied with just existing, not truly living, not being sovereign, a sovereign nation to do what we want to do, to, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments and have these slaves and these na heathen nations under us. They don't think that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. I noticed that when I go around family members, man, like they just so... You know, they content with being, you know, with being at the bottom. Yeah. yeah, just being, you know, from the hood, just being together. Yeah, like, you don't want nothing else. This is all you know. It's all you want. I ripped them projects. Yeah, yeah, you I were an experiment. Yeah. You. What you think project mean? Experiment. They did that with the uh, lab rice. It's like, yeah, I said rice. Rats. <laughs> lab <No>. rats. <laughs> i never seen a, a people so content with having nothing. <laughs> Hey, That's how you know you destroyed, because you think you don't deserve anything better. China man. Jake know how to make it, but he, he don't want that better though. Talking about this my hood, this my block. This Esau hood in his block. He what? own all the buildings on the block. He'll knock it down when he want to. Exactly. What what building did you lay down? What brick did you lay down, man? <laughs> yeah, that was your block. Don't you think a lot of you niggas will still be alive because you would make your block safe? <laughs> so you won't get killed, my man? Do you have the <laughs> deed to the land? <laughs> Come on, man. Do you have the paperwork? Esau got the hey. paperwork to your block. Do you own the building? He Hell just let no. you sell his dope there and give you the impression that it's yours. Mm -hmm. Just like he gave his whole country the impression that they got rights. You're gonna see how many rights you got when he pull up them tanks. Yep. yep. Cause when he's done with you, he's gonna sell you out, man. That's, that's, that's why the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy. Yep. I'm gonna get these uh, last scripture. That's what brother got for a good one. We'll, we'll probably just one. go ahead. Yeah, go. Sirach chapter 12, verse 17. 
If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Yep. And though he pretend to Woo. help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Y'all keep thinking he saw your friend. He gonna show you his true intent. Ah. <laughs> Slack, bro. You go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You good. Um, I'm gonna get this uh, verse in uh, Jeremiah 23. We'll go ahead and close out. All right, because this is a... Uh, really, you can read uh, 10 through 16, but I'll just get a little bit of it. Uh, this is Jeremiah 23, verse 13. This is about these pastors out here. All right, because once again, they're telling you to celebrate Easter instead of the Passover. All right? The Passover is biblical. Easter is not biblical, man. All right? And, and that goes to show you they spreading lies. they feeding you lies, man. It's a bunch of bull crap out here. So uh, I'm going to just start at verse 13. Jeremiah 23, and verse 13. And I've seen the folly of the prophets of Samaria, the prophesied in Baals. You see, they don't prophesy in the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Mm -hmm. Or Jake be like, oh, not my Jesus. All right, they're not preaching the true Lord of the Bible, man. All right. And calls my people Israel to err. Hey, what's good, brother? How you guys stand for you heard about the Israelites? Because that's, yeah. that's in the Bible. Yeah. Well, depending on what tribe you're from, you know, you might be Judah, you might be Levi, you know, just depending on who your who your father is, you're an Israelite, you know. I don't so know the 12 tribes defined in the 12, 12 races and the different races? No, no, they're, they're all the same people, just from different tribes. So, like, uh, well, his uh, name was changed to Israel. He had uh, 12 sons, and these sons, uh, was divided into a different tribe. So, if you're from the Negroes, you might be Judah. West Indies, you might be Benjamin, Levi. But at the end of the day, the Lord is going to show us, at, you know, who we uh, really are at the end of the day. But you are, you're the true people of the Bible. I don't, I don't know if you've seen that uh, Putin opened up the... Uh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that shows you that you're the people of the Lord, man. You know, they've been hiding it. Does that make it, does that make, like, does it kind of kill some kind of credibility when it comes to the Bible when you see that? Because, like, you know, everything we talk about, the Bible is born. No, the only thing that died is the lies that you've been taught yeah, your whole life. You said the city prophesied that the truth would come out in the last days, and uh, truth would spring out of the earth. Opening that vault was one of those prophecies coming to pass. So all the truth is coming out in the last days, and these are the last days. So, I, me personally, I don't think we got three, four years left. Because how many prophecies left? Like three or four? Jacob's Trouble, right around the corner. Yeah. Armageddon, yeah, the, World War III. I think there's something in, like, even in uh, Israel as well, too. Like, it's about that third temple. The, the red cows, whatever it is. No, they're doing, no, yeah, they're doing something for the red cows. They're they doing that for, um, that's a carnal mm -hmm. Yeah, they Like, they, like they, even with the uh, third temple, when you actually had the understanding of the Bible, that's, that's talking about the people. That's, that's, that's talking about us waking up to yeah. the truth. We're the temple of the Lord. Yeah. Because the most high doesn't dwell in temples made by man's hands. You know what I'm saying? We are the church. So the two who are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them also. Mm-hmm. Let's say for right, somebody who's trying to get more understanding about these kind of things going too. Let's say somebody who's even trying to step out of the traditional religious stand what are some things you guys would recommend for music kind of vibe to? Watch videos. Yeah. yeah. You got YouTube, you got phone, anything. Right, yeah. Uh look up GMS is like just look that up. GMS is yeah, like yeah. You can study and learn yeah. on your own time. I had a friend of mine who was kind of like a part of this world too. And I would say when I first kind of like I was really into the, the Christian system world too. Mm -hmm. Him, I used to have like kind of like some debates as well too, but it's really more like a kind of friendly kind of understanding to where I was okay. changed. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just me about what you guys are about as well too, but I feel like I'm kind of somewhat losing the religious kind of shackles a little bit too, so I'm trying to get my understanding as well. That's a good thing. That's a real thing. good thing. You let go of the lies you've been taught your whole life. You gotta eat the yoke up, man. Everything that you've ever been taught here in Babylon was taught to you as a lie, man. Yeah. Well, the Savior being that white boy, everybody in that book being white people. You know, these, these people were in the Middle East. The white people were over there, man. They would have been burnt up, man, because that son would have told their ass over there. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. the iconoclasts in the movie. Yeah. Celebrate the 300 was us. The yeah, Vikings right. were us. Yeah. Okay. All those historic people that they make movies about, 
That was us, bro. The dark ages that you hear about in history, that's when the Jews were about in history. So is the, is the Jesus, the Jesus and the, the Mary story, is that really more of yeah. like, uh, allegorical kind of story or is it more Well, of a depending on which way that you come from, you're just talking about like the virgin birth, that didn't happen. Joseph actually had sex with him. Yeah. That's actually his son. No. Yeah. 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 Where do yeah. I find that at, bro? <laughs> because what what it's what all in here. It was just taken out of context. Yeah, they twisted the scriptures to uh to fit a Christian doctrine. And they made all the scriptures uh retain to everybody. This book ain't for everybody, it's only for Israelites. Yeah. It was written by Israelites for Israelites in these days. You say the most Call him what you want. But he's for his people, yeah. the Israelites. Yeah. Now racist means you are for your people. So yeah. if that's the very definition of racist. Then you can call your how about show me how shot a racist. Because he hates the other nations. Let's get it in second answer. Yeah. How he sees the other nations as yeah. fiddle. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I said, watch the videos yeah. and we're well we just came back here. Cause um, this is like one of our spots that we're here. We're normally here like um, if you ever want to come back on Saturdays, like around around 11, 11, 12 ish, around around that time. That's when we're also here. If you ever ever yeah on Saturdays, cause normally uh, sometimes for a little while we was down by the waterfront over over in that area. But uh, shoot, even even after this video, if you want to go get some information, I get some information with you. You know, you dare want to come back over here. But like I said, watch the videos, and I'll let the brother get the scripture. All right. This is 2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 56. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing but be like unto spittle, that's stick, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So that means that the Lord is comparing the other nations, the heathen nations, as a drop of a, uh, a drop of water coming from a bucket. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna trip on a bucket, I mean a drop falling. And he called them spittle. That means spit, that means he don't care about these other nations. The only reason these nations were revelant because the Lord used these other nations to punish us for our disobedience, our worshiping other gods, us wanting to be like the other heathen nations. We at the end of our punishment now. And they about to go into captivity under us and we're gonna be immortals live forever you how right is out we're gonna be in our prime forever yeah. that's 25 26 years old forever. forever they still gonna be living and dying being yeah. reborn back into slavery because they about to do a thousand years of slavery and then it's gonna be peace after that we're gonna be good you know we're gonna be like brothers you know we're still gonna be over them we're still gonna be the kings the judges of the earth but you know we're gonna be cool with them you know, but the, as, as because you don't get these scriptures in the Christian church, you're not no, gonna read it. Too. No, they the government will not allow them to tell you the truth. They That's why they get tax breaks. They get to keep all their tithes that they take in. But at the same time, they're gonna tell you the law been done away with. Okay, then why you tithing me? That's the law to get your money. That's what it's all about. Money, so even all these like. Wow, and it's crazy that it's happening right now at the time they're actually coming out too. Yeah, this yeah, 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 this, this is all the Lord. We was going to do a bit. We was going to do a camp yesterday. Yeah, yeah. But he had an emergency, so we did it today, and it's right on time. Like, that's oh, perfect. That's, awesome. that's perfect, yeah. It's crazy. His, his book was only given to the Israelites, man. The laws of this book was only for the Israelites, not the whole world. Like the church is teaching, man. This is Psalms 147 and 19. Uh, he showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. As far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise be the Lord. So these other nations don't have the law, statutes, and commandments. We are the set apart people, not over countries, other nations. That's why I said that there is other nations are like unto spiritual. We were the ones that were chosen. I got another precept for you. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, your power, and none else. Yeah. Not no all, not no whosoever. And my people should never be ashamed. Mm. It, it, this, they, they line up in the churches, bro. This is our book. 
At John 3.16, it talks about everybody when they say, for God, who so loved the world. That word, world, is talking about the Israelites. You got to look up the meaning into it and go deep into it because it's talking about a certain people. The yeah, uh, you look up that word, world, God it's called a uh, cosmos. Yeah, yeah, so cosmos, went, so it means like tribes. Right. It's talking about people. That's why I wanted to understand uh, if that's the case where there are many parts of the book that's been kind of twisted for the sake of the power that be. Oh, uh, it's, it's the people that's using it because the war, the Lord says you got to be called to do this. You can't wake up one day and say, oh, I'm, I'm going to be a pastor. You got to be called to do this. So they're indoctrinated. So when they go to uh, these churches, I mean, it's like when they go to uh, the colleges and all that stuff to get their degrees, to learn how to be a pastor, they, they're indoctrinated. So these scriptures that the brother just read you and some, you know, that we brought up pretty much this whole day, they're not, they're not ever going to bring them to the scripture. And if they do it... Oh, so the, the actual sacred ones that actually have the power, they don't have, like, they don't have any access over that part. It's just like, okay, let's say, let's say, um, when you read the part that says, uh, I forgot it, I think it was in, like, the, the, the Geneva Bible when he says, um, something about principalities and powers, and then a part of it also mentioned, um, worldly governments, but it's not in the regular Bible as well, too. So like if I'm reading the regular There's book. governments in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. They're described as hills and mountains. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, mountains parabolic. represent the large governments like the superpowers, China, Russia, United States. The hills represent the smaller countries. Yeah. You have to know the terminology. The terminology. And the yeah. most important thing of the Bible to really understand it, you have to learn the racial aspect of it. You gotta know who's who in here. That's how you understand it. Because Check this out. It's Romans chapter nine. Verse Verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I wish that myself were accursed from my shock for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, who pertain of the adoption, the glory, the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the services of Yahweh and the promises. That means only the covenants apply to us only the promises apply to us salvation salvation only for us ye no. know ye what well, ye know not works for salvation of the jews uh that thing that john chapter 4 verse 22 yep. salvation yeah, is of the jews and that's that that was apostle paul saying that because they'll try to say apostle paul came for the uh the gentiles that's why you got to get the understanding of the bible because the Gentiles that it's talking about is Israelite foreigners, are people that were scattered abroad because it's, it's a curse. Which you know, if if you into this, you know, you are want people, more information. It, like, like just the black race in general. Um, or, no, no, um, it's um. The Israelites yeah. are, are twelve tribes. Yeah. It's basically the all the all the so-called blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are the Israelites of the Bible. That's broken down into twelve tribes. That's why they are called the 12 lost tribes of Israel. Nobody knew who they were or they were keeping it from the, the tribes, who they were. That's why Esau went in and changed his identity. The white man is known as Esau in the Bible. But in order to hide his identity, he had to hide everybody else's too. Yeah. So the Issacharians are no longer Issacharians, they're Mexicans. The tribe of Manasseh is no longer Manasseh, they're Cubans. Mm -hmm. The tribe of Levi is now Haitian. See what I'm saying? And they never told you who you were because your name kept changing. It went from color to black to native uh, to African American to African, all this other shit except your real name, and that's prophecy. Because it was prophesied that you would be called by a byword instead of your real name. Yeah. Yeah, you heard the term, you've been called everything under the sun except the child of God. And especially here, yeah. you know, you proclaim that you is like, oh, he, he, he bugging out. He, he dumb. Right. But here, you can be a giraffe. You, you pretty much claim that you anything else right. but, yeah. but, but an Israelite. You try to call yourself yeah. an Israelite, you try to reclaim your heritage, they're going to pin all kind of hate speech on you. Yeah. Got, all we're doing is reading out the book. I got Deuteronomy 28 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. Wow. So we've been scattered all over the world. Wow. And we are called bywords, like the brother said, blacks, negro, color. Those are all bywords that were put on our people. 
and it, it would kind of make sense too, especially like our, like you said, the, the morphism of our races. If you look at all these people, are the, are the ones that are scattered across the nations, across the world. They all have similar histories. Right, yeah. and it makes sense too when it comes to, even when I look at black people as well too, it's like, we definitely are the people who rebelled, like, like can we have a rebellious kind of spirit as well too? And I feel like he kind of foresaw that and shattered like, okay, yeah, you guys are gonna be scattered out, but then you're gonna come back into place as well too. And that makes sense too, because like, we didn't like even see what um, Putin even revealed. It's kind of, it makes sense. It was like they've been hiding the history of our own self and our like They don't want you to know who you are because oh. if you know who that's, you are, you're you going to get bold. You're going to stand boldly in their face and tell them their judgment that's about to come like we do. Yep. They don't yep. want you to be confident. They don't want you to know who you are because if you know who you are, that means you know who they are. And that's one of the biggest secrets they've been trying to hide their identity in this Bible. Check this out. Uh, Amos chapter 3. And we'll start at verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. It ain't no coincidence that the so-called blacks, Native Americans, Hispanics, uh, Latinos been catching hell. Because we are the Israelites. We were put under these curses for disobedience. Yeah. Yeah. Our word right there, like, yeah, we are yeah. stiff-necked people. Our biggest enemies, yeah. Yeah, and that's that's also goes into the curses as a brother was reading mm -hmm. in Deuteronomy 28 that you would hate your brother or you would leave your child. Who's that happening to? That's not happening to the ish man, the uh, long-nosed man with the little <laughs> curls on the side. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're we're the ones. You know, you know that's that's a stereotype that's on us where you know we have babies and, and we leave them. You know, we leave them fatherless. That's what you the media paints. That's a curse. Right. Why are, like we, they why are us? we the chosen ones? Why are we the ones separated as far as like having, you have the Caucasians, you have other, other races. Why are we the ones that are sensitive? Uh, the Lord just said because. He chose us. He just chose, chose, chose us. us. You know how you was a kid, yeah. you got your favorite toy? He just chose it. Yeah. Just chose it, That's man. what it is. Yeah. The Lord can do that. Who, Think who about it. We the salt of the earth, bro. Everybody mocks us. Every single thing. Everybody want to dress like us, rap like us, sing like us, move like us. We the salt of the earth. That's in this Bible. Love us, but hate, like admire us, but hate us at the same time. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they want to be you. Right. They want to be, they want to be accepted by the Lord, yeah. but they're not. That's why they hate you, because yeah. you're accepted, and they think that you don't deserve that place. That's why they hate you so much. But everything that they ever done, our people, it's going to get ready and come back around on them tenfold, man. They going into captivity as well. This is Isaiah 14 and two. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, they who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And who oppressed us? Esau. That's his biblical name. So that's that was the allegorical meaning behind Esau Jacob. The difference between the, the our races. That's the, is that the meaning behind. Now uh, Esau and Jacob were brothers. They were born, they were fraternal twins. One, they were born at the same time. One just came out black, one came out white. You see, that's how the Lord made it. He put that indignation between so-called white people and so-called black people. These are the two main characters of the Bible. All other nations are just extras. Now, with Esau and Jacob, Esau was the progenitor, well, he wasn't a progenitor, but yeah, he was the progenitor of all the Edomites. Yeah. So he put that energy between them, and Jacob ended up getting the birthright from Esau. Esau was the firstborn. Jacob ended up getting the, the, the birthright. So that's why that birthright is about to kick in now. Esau sold his birthright for a pot for some, some raw, uncooked stew. Yeah, yeah. It's a raw So that's meat. why he mad. He's trying to steal back the birthright yep. by putting everybody under his rule with yep. that, that grain of rice. He's going to force everybody to take in their hand to replace money. Because you even go back in the day, your word was your bond, especially back in the day. You say you're going to do something, you're going to do it, you know. And so he already told Jacob, I'm going to tell you this, you know, what this birthright got to do with me. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm hungry as hell, you know. So he already sold him the birthright then. And so when Jacob actually got the birthright, he was all butthurt. And so you, you already said you were selling it to your brother. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? 
Yeah. Why you, yeah. He got full now. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Got, he got his little so-called blessing was the fatness of the earth. Right now. That's yeah, right now. that's, that's he, the All the nice right places. Now. They live in all the nice places, they right? The fatness of the earth. That they was one that he saw his blessings. Yep. Oh, really? Another blessing was the sword. They that's why he's so crazy about guns. Yeah, you see him. There'll be a fat ass eating <laughs> white man. And all he can't play ball, he can't dance, he can't sing, but he can shoot that gun. Yeah. That's shoot why they're so the crazy about any type of instrument of death. He's blessed with the sword. He's blessed with the fatness of the earth. That's why he lives in all nice places. And he still continues to steal people's land to this day. To this day. Yeah. Look how they're doing the Palestinians. Trying to do the hey right now and towards you a bit. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. See, yeah, that Haitians crazy. under the curses, though. Mm -hmm. They are Levites. Yeah. So their hell is expected. Their hell is expected. Yeah, because they're under the yeah, curse. Yeah, hell is a condition, so. Hell is a condition, not pretty a place. Much what you're going, it's what not you're a going. place that you go and talk. burn yeah. for, forever. Yo, I was doing I was doing a question here last time online. I was asking people, like, do you guys, all right, do you guys, what do you guys, what's your point of view on reincarnation? Like, in this, this kind of Reincarnation is real. Yeah. 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 Bro, I read a scripture that said literally, okay, when it was asking about, um, Elijah coming back. Mm -hmm. He said yeah, he came back as John the Baptist. Yeah. I was like, how can Christians read this in the Bible and, and not believe and it? not believe yeah. in reincarnation? <laughs> hey, that's the Lord waking you up. Bruh, that's the Lord waking no, you up. No, literally, brother. I think me coming here right now, even like, I literally even go to like, I was going to like a three-day fast like two days ago. Check this out. Go ahead, go ahead. Check this out. The second Ezra 14, 35. This is good. For the for after for after death shall the judgment come. When we shall live yeah, again, again, that means we will be back. At be the, reborn. We, we will be born again, bro. We will live again, and then shall the names of the righteous manif be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So we definitely be reincarnated, man. Every time you die, you come back in that same lot that you left in. If you die a prophet, you're going to come back in that same lot and be a prophet. If you were Israelite. You don't you don't cross over with nations. If you were born an Israelite, you're gonna die an Israelite. If you're born an Israelite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same thing with Edom and all these other nations and tribes. You don't come back as something different. Yeah, so like an see. animal or object like you learned in uh, yeah. school about yeah. Hinduism or Buddhism. You don't no, know that, that's so what you mean. don't come back as, a, as different things and whatnot too. You just come back oh. as the same person because yeah. you have to complete your mission. Well, you're you're the same spirit. You might you might come back look different. different you might even right. look you might even look the same. That's what know? I believe. I feel yeah. like yeah, because when he said like, oh yeah, Elijah came as John the Baptist, John the Baptist. And, but they didn't recognize him. Like okay, it makes sense. He came with the same mission yeah. that he had to complete, but he was in a different form. That's why they didn't recognize him. Yeah. Him. Same person, same spirit, just different body. Right. right. Mm -hmm. if you understand Peter, that. Peter came back as King David. Yeah. yeah. Well, King David was Peter. So, yeah, 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 yeah. so when you say hell, it's just a condition. Baby. Like, we under the curses, the Israelites. This is a condition. This is our hell. When Esau, the white man, goes into captivity, see, he's in his heaven right now because this is his, his, his kingdom. Yeah. When he goes into captivity, that's when his condition will go from heaven to hell. Because Remember that scripture about how Lucifer fell from heaven? That's talking about how fast Esau falls from his rulership. Because it's only going to take one hour to destroy a miracle. Yeah. No, but I, I mean, you're, you're kind of seeing it happen, like, literally, like, right now. I've been st I studied a lot of, like, a lot of the, the leaders back in Africa as well, too. And, like, there's an actual, like, it's a mental shit that's happening where a lot of the African leaders are taking back, like, as far as their countries now, yeah. right? And yeah. they're cutting ties with the West now. And even, like, having Russia being a part of, even, like, him, like, he's, like, being, like, a part of, like, the alliance with a lot of the, the black countries or the African countries right now. I don't know about Russia personally. But I know that he's even like enabling or even like empowering the black people as well too. But I just watch them to see how like the African nations now are shifting their focus now from being focused on the Western countries now and being more empowered by themselves as well too. Yeah, yeah, because so they got the, the resources, prophecy? they got the gold, they got the oil. They were just like, you know, we're not going to have all these other nations come through. Now I know China's in there a little bit. You know, they may be trying to push back on that or keep them with allies, I'm not sure. No, that's shifting as well, too. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching that, too. That's okay, too. Yeah, okay, think, that makes sense. Because it, it's been years in the making where, like, I studied, like, China even being, being a part of the African, like, economy, but now even themselves who now are having, like, a, it has to be, like, a win-win partnership in order for us to be, like, Ghana, for example. Ghana is, like, even when it comes to our gold and our cocoa, mm -hmm. we can't act like that anymore. It has to be, like, like, actual, like, us refining ourselves and selling to you guys. So I was kind of wondering if that was, like, an actual mental shift that's happening when it comes to the black culture and whatnot, too. No, you got a shift in the spiritual vibration yeah. on this planet right now. 
people are waking up and accepting the fact of who, who the true Israelites are and not those tunnel rats over there. Yeah, and, and they and they just <laughs> the mattress muffins. <laughs> yeah. And they push them back, you know, they don't want to deal with they see that this man that's over them is wicked as hell. He's not to be trusted. You know, even here, they made over five hundred treaties with the native Native American, which is Gad and Reuben, and they broke all of them. And other nations are seeing this, it's like this man ain't to be trusted. So that's why you also see they're pushing back on the uh, US dollar and not dealing with the US dollar. It's not being the gold standard anymore. Yeah. You know, so it's it's part of prophecy this man's kingdom is pretty much falling down. So the guy, the guy and the women are like the, the Indians and the Seminoles. Yeah. Native yeah. Americans okay. here. This is all like I can, I can even go on and even like read this and dive into this more too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said, watch the video. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to take all this down. They're going to take it down. Yeah, yeah. they're going to run out there, so they're making, they coming up with ways. They're going to call it hate speech. Laws, call it a hate speech. They're going to call us extremists because all we doing is read the Bible. Go on yep. your phone and pull up Project Megiddo. They are. They got us written in there. As black Hebrew Israelites, that we are considered extremists. Because yeah. all we do is read. They're going to take down, they're going to take down all social media sites. It ain't gonna just be TikTok. It's gonna come to pass. They're gonna take down all social media sites. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. take down the internet. Yeah, completely. Because they want complete control of the people. They want you to believe everything that they say. And Without if you come up with any idea that's you know, or you're following something that's against the grain, they don't want you to do that, man. What's the saying? One of these uh, old men got. They got a saying called, "They don't want a nation of thinkers. They want a nation of workers." Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all they want. They want, they want you to believe they lie. You here, not question nothing. Not question nothing. Yeah. Who you got to believe? Anybody, 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 anybody who's just the word. They're like, not just on the one hand. Y'all got to Yeah, you won't have to get the scripture. Anybody yeah. who's against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is an antichrist. Yep. Yeah, because that you, goes for every church. You, in this country, in the planet. Yeah, the brother about to get the scripture because you get into the scripture, it says antichrist, plural. plural. Not plural. just one. Yeah. No. And it's not a man that's flying around doing all these types of miracles. Yeah. That's, that's not biblical. System. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much this man's system. Anybody against this book is an antichrist. Yeah. I got First John chapter 2, 18. Little children, it is the last time and as ye have heard that antichrists shall come even now there are many antichrists mm -hmm. whereby we know that it is the last time so there are many antichrists there's not just going to be one guy that come out of nowhere and wreak havoc on humanity that's how there's, christianity paints it yeah no, they lie they yeah, always lie yeah that's them not actually understand if they actually read that scripture they were actually understood it's, it's they don't want to understand I'm, because I'm, it goes against christian doctrine well, how come like there's so many of these and but they, if you're in the church there's a certain template of kind of things they talk about yeah that that's prosperity doctrine yeah. the prosperity doctrine or oh, they try to paint themselves as right. being life coaches but they don't read no scriptures out of here and even if they do they're going to twist the meaning of it to make it fit everybody nothing that breaks change though nothing that really actually like reveals the truth and really actually like they're not allowed, to they're allowed to because they signed they took on an agreement with esau that 501c3 charter it allows them to keep all their ties. That's why they got private jets and all these big ass houses. Yeah. But they ain't paying no taxes. Yeah, that's a church that I used to go to, a pastor that lives almost near the West End down here. He got a big old house, basketball court, he got nice cars, but look at your congregation. Your congregation is starving. Lost. Yeah. Oh, let me read you this. I just think about getting Jason like a, like a, when I think about that though, because like he's done. That's yeah, the real. And you see his time is coming to an end though. And you see his rich men oh, yeah. cannot enter the kingdom. He's being revealed like little by little though. All of them being revealed. Yeah, yeah this, this, about to get revealed, this is bro. showing you the times that we get into. Bro. You know, like Diddy yeah, being exposed yeah. with T D J. Everything, everything's being exposed. Jay Z's next as well. Yeah, I heard he's next as well too. And that's just like the world power and the how you feel like. You can have like at least at least the world powers can have like the minutes for like a while. But like you can never like bypass when God says the time is gonna happen. And that's how I feel like it's happening right now. That's why I, I feel like I do this. I, it's, it's happening it's, to me it's, right it's, now too as well. Like yeah, I was literally like just like reading and for some reason I was reading something. I don't know what which I was reading, but I just like it just felt like, yeah, I gotta find a real person. I wanna know the real person. I feel like 
there's not only just like deeper meaning or like it's like a seven layer dip. Mm -hmm. And most people are like, they're, they're purposely like just reading the, the top layer without giving the true depth about what it means. That's for now, they're just talking about Jake, like um, Esau and Jacob. Most of us are reading it as a, at a face value, like I said, like, like an actual Esau and Jacob as opposed to the real truth. But then like, they're in church giving us just, how do you call it, fluff? Yeah. They lying. They lying. They, they, they finessing you. Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. Who they promoting up and up? That white boy? That ain't his name. <laughs> that prophet shall die. Yeah. So what we is got this, some what more. Is actual, what is his actual name? The son's the name, is Shai. Yep. The name is Yahweh Shai. The father's name is Yahweh. And it also has meaning because it's uh, Hebrew. That's, that's the language that we spoke was Hebrew. And you go into the Hebrew, it has uh, meaning. Like you will have, uh, uh, like Yahweh Shai means he uh, is the savior or he's the deliverer. Yahweh means he exists. Uh, yeah, he exists. he exists. You know, because you got people. Yo, know, he's the bee, something like that. He exists. Because you have people like, where did God come from? Who made God? Oh, well, I, it means I, he's the ancient of days. He's always been there. Always been, always been there. You the know, nobody made days. him. He exists. That's too deep for people to understand, yeah. but you, we wasn't made to understand it. Is that the, so that, is that the same kind of reference as um, that I am, that I am? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, what Yahweh means. That, I, am. Yeah. I am that I am. Okay. We, okay, so which book would y'all um, kind of refer to me because I see y'all have the, the, the holy book there which I have the King James Apocrypha. Yeah, right? 1611 King James Apocrypha. 1611 King James Version. Yeah, it has an Apocrypha in there. Okay. Or if you want to buy it separate King James and look up on Amazon, it's uh, Apocrypha. Yeah, okay. Apocrypha is like 14, yeah. 15 dollars. I got mine for 11. Yeah. Uh, okay. So check this out though. This is Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. Hmm. Chapter 10. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Hmm. That means that everybody in there listening to them, them lies, they're going to get the same punishment that lying ass pastor going to get. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is saying. We're trying to tell people, y'all better come about these churches, man, because these people are lying to you for profit just so you can be destroyed with them. And them ain't pastors. Them niggas still in love with money. You leading these people to their slaughter on purpose. You know it. They know they, they lying because in order to lie, you got to know the truth because you got to know what not to say. Make sense? Big facts. I'm going to close out this video, so... Got two. Okay, bro. But yeah, you know, if you got any more questions, we can still answer them. Us yeah, brothers that don't I gotta go. Hey, no problem, brother. Shalom, y'all. Shalom.